Well, hello, hello. How you guys doing? Can you guys hear me? Is this... Is this all right? not get to uh, test levels beforehand because I'm already like 10 minutes late, but um, it's fine. <laughs> it's going to be a little scuffed, but all good things are a little scuffed. Um, yes, sir. Hey, what's up? Busy, busy. IDMA, T -Sol -Z. Hey, long time listener, first time donator. Greetings from Germany. Question, why does this album fuck so hard? Hey, yo. <laughs> okay, okay, hold on. <laughs> Let me see how high I can raise this background. And testing one, two, three. Um, I'm assuming that's a little too loud. Or is that okay? Just uh, trying to test when we listen to music. Test one, two, three. Hey, Cortex, it's been a while. Thank you so much. Too loud. Okay, too loud, too loud. Into the night. Okay, that should be a bit better. That should be a bit better. And feel alive. Come on, come on, let's go to the break. Oh, time, good time, when we all die. God, I'm so like okay. Uh, so yeah, that's, okay. Before we get into like talking about the album, um, let me switch the screen so you guys, you can guys actually see me. Whoops, wrong screen. There we go. <laughs> All right, hey guys, how you doing? Has been a long time, a very long time since my last stream. Um, I don't even remember when I last streamed. It's definitely been. It's definitely been since 2023 or maybe 2022 since I did the last stream. I don't know. <laughs> um, but yes. Oh, yeah, uh, if you guys remembered, I had a drum set back there. I just took it down because I got neighbors below me now. So there's there's no point in setting it back up until like they move out. So <laughs> I have no idea when that will happen. So anyways. Um, yeah, hello, hello, hello. Welcome. Flame in. I see a lot of familiar names in there. Let's go. Uh, let's see. Woo. All right. Let's, let's, let's catch up with this chat. Quiet in the beginning of the stream. DJ Joe. Hey, what's up? What's up? Subscribe with Elf. Been a long time. Uh, it's Casa channel. Welcome, welcome. And I see semi here. Nice to meet you, Joe. Hey, thank you. Thank you. Nana is so goaded. Her voice is amazing. Has the hurricane not hit you? It, it, where, we, where I'm located, it, it only, we only got like heavy winds and like, a solid amount of rain it wasn't crazy at all so we got lucky um it says i got four little questions the three of them are closely linked i'm ready hell yeah oh yes i am in florida okay so 2.7 1.7 okay it's going down <laughs> okay well, let's start from the beginning um so first song of the album feel alive so funny story this this song was actually made last um so I have a bit of a bias towards it because, you know, I worked on it the most recently. Um, so this is kind of like my personal favorite. Um, I mean, I like, I really love uh, how the vocals came out in the top line um, and generally mixing and like the, um, like the mixing levels of the sub and just the vocals and everything, I feel like are like my best, my best showing of that um, compared to the, the rest of the album, in my opinion. Um. Huh? <laughs> and uh, yeah, I, I just I, I'm really really proud of this first song. Um, I, I kind of wanted to make the first song last in the process so that I can kind of like set up the rest of the album because initially, um, I wasn't really going for like it's kind of like light concept albumy where it's like you hear different samples 
throughout the entire album from the first song with the whole come on and the pull up the yo and bring it to the front that kind of, all that kind of stuff is like scattered throughout the entire album um and initially i wasn't planning to do that um but i i had the idea later into the album like oh that'd be cool if i could do something like that so it was it was kind of beneficial for me to make the first song last in the album creation process um that way i could you know i was able to theme the album better by doing that if that makes sense um yeah let's see has the pc upgrade happened in the meantime hell no bro i don't got money for that <laughs> i fucking wish because like you saw all the the shorts I've been uploading. Like, there's the it's a varying quality of smoothness you can see FL Studio running at, and and that all depends on how much shit I put into that project. And because my computer my computer's processor is so old, I can only do so much in FL Studio, um, and then also record on top of that. So like you know the recording using OBS on FL Studio else also adds a load onto the CPU. So. You can see some of those are extremely choppy and some of them are pretty smooth. It kind of just depends on the project file, how much I put into it. Um, yeah, but I'll definitely, definitely need to upgrade my PC sometime in the near future because um, I gotta make shit look better. <laughs> that and also I can, I, I can have more freedom to make more things because this, this song right here you're listening to, um, has like, it, my CPU was pretty was struggling a lot. There was like an insane amount of serums in here. Like, I put so much into this song that my computer was struggling. Like, I need a new computer. <laughs> hey, what's up? Uh, so shout out to Emil from the Philippines. Hey, what's up, what's up? Uh, mention how powerful this would be had a better PC, seriously. <laughs> um, yeah. So yeah, down in this corner, that's uh, my son. Um, yeah, I saw someone comment on it earlier. She was created um, actually through Skeb. Uh, and then from there, we kind of fleshed out the the character a little bit more after that. Just kind of had Skeb, um, we used Skeb to have a starting point in a way. And then from there, we just kind of kept going. <laughs> Set up on Japan, Ayo. Nice, nice. Uh, Japan's great. Been there a couple times now. Last time I went was last year, I think. Yeah, last in the fall. I was able to buy a, a two. I was able to buy too many Splatoon things. Um, it was a great time. <laughs> yeah, it's also been a long time since I've I've been live. So yes, hello, hello. Um, I'm planning. I'm trying to do one more live stream before the end of the year. I want to try to make a song, actually, on the stream, just like an original song with you guys. I have a. I already have a song that I want to make, um, and it's called Trill. It's gonna be really interesting. Really, I had this whole idea for it. Just randomly came up, came to me, where it's like, give him the trill. Then it's it's gonna be uh, the stream will come eventually. But like when I make that song, it's gonna be hilarious. Um, but yeah, that's gonna be cool. Eventually, I'll do a, a, another live to create an original song with you guys. That'll be fun, and then we can, we'll release it as a single just for fun. Um, and we could also, ooh, ooh, we can also do a skeb. Um, we can also do a skeb to create the album art with you guys as well. That'd be sick. Hold on, I, I gotta write this down somewhere. Hold on. Oh, excuse me. Uh, Halloween stream, maybe. Um, create new base house original on stream live. Use trill song idea for starting it. Uh, and then during stream, um, ask chat what the album art should look like. And then put that request Skip. It'll be entirely like a like stream made song. That'd be really funny. Um, yeah. <laughs> okay. Let's see. Oh, can I ask what Skeb means? I've never been completely un uh, completely sure. To I think I forgot. Hold on, let's, see. let's go back a little bit. Um, yeah, I was gonna ask you to make another song on stream. Yes, it's gonna happen. I have an idea for it. It's gonna be great. 
Give me the, the trail and then Geometry Dash gameplay. <laughs> I love that you collaborate with different VTubers. Uh, definitely a goal of mine to collab with you as well. Mostly rap and trail art though. We'll be listening to the, to the stream to learn. Let's, uh, hey, thank you so much. I appreciate it. Um, I'm honestly pretty, I'm honestly surprised that so many people said yes to me because I don't make originals. Like I have, I have like, I have no, like when I say I don't make originals, I have like no backlog for people to be like, oh, DJ Doe, he's the guy who makes originals. You know what I mean? So it'd be kind of like a risk to to call out with someone like me who doesn't have a history of making originals. So I was really surprised when so many of the people that I asked and said, sure, I'll make an original with you. And they're like, oh shit, let's go. I actually have people who believe in my stuff. So that was sick. <laughs> um, but yeah, let's go back to the Skeb thing. Um, let's see. So uh, Skeb... Skeb is I don't I don't know if Skeb stands for anything, um, but it's a it's it's a, uh, a a Japanese site where it's a super streamlined way of doing art commissions and like video commissions and even like music commissions as well even text commissions too, um, and basically it's it's a, a service where you can submit to people who who have their profiles on there and be like hey can you draw me something like this and then they can choose to either accept it or deny it and if they accept it um they can they, they'll deliver you they'll, they'll deliver you the product with a certain amount of time and then you can't really say like can't you can't redo anything so as soon as when they accept it whatever they give you is what you get um so in that way it's kind of risky um but also it's super streamlined and a lot of the time it's pretty affordable so it's it's a really it's a really nice place to kind of there's like because there's so many people on there it's a really nice place to kind of look and find artists and stuff. Granted, you know there's going to be a lot of varying quality, um, so it'll be a lot of varying prices because everyone sets their own prices. So it's a really cool site, um, as you can see in the bottom uh, right. Yeah, Maida was also commissioned on Skeb as well. Uh, Rizu Cube Panda is who I commissioned, and they do some amazing work for an incredible price. Let me, let me just, let me just show you, show you their stuff, cause like their stuff is so good. Just kind of shill their, shill their creativeness. Scab. Sure everything's good. Okay, that's okay. I'm gonna have to cut that, cause there's that was that was porn on the screen. That is not good. Ah. Uh, <laughs> Yes, also on Skeb, you can commission porn. That's great. Oh, that's awesome. Anyways, let me bring up Rizu Panda's uh, let me bring up Rizu Panda's um, profile directly so that doesn't happen again. Why the hell did that show up? Rizu Panda. Skeb JP. Hey guys, how you doing? Welcome, welcome, welcome. We just had a yikes moment, but we're fixing it. And don't worry, we can get rid of that post. We can get rid of that in post. Um, let's see. All right, we should be good now. Put the bomb Alabama. Watch me move it. Hold well, on, I'm making sure everything's good. Hold on, it. Hold on it. Hey guys, do it. Hold on one moment. There we go. There we go. Turn that shit off. Display settings. Uh, your works. Off. There we go. So we, if we go back to the front page. Yeah, it's, it's for the most part safe for work. Yeah, I'm, I'm pretty sure also I'm peaking and I'm sorry. <laughs> All right, okay, okay. I'm, 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 I'm looking around here and I think this is okay to show. Uh, there is some questionable items here, but I think it'll be okay. Um, so yeah, this is the front page of Skeb. Um, yes, as you can see, there is some questionable things here, even if I turned off uh, not safe for work. Um, but actually, let me uh, let me open up my requests. But I gotta not show you that as well because I have some stuff unreleased on there. So let me just click this. Uh, here we go. Here we go. All right, this is this is Rizu Panda Cube, the person who did the, this animation right here. My dog right there. Let me let me put my on the screen as well, right here. There, there she is. Um, 
she'll be dancing on the on on top of the video yes okay anyways this is my dot their work is so good and you can see over here uh, let me zoom in their recommended amount is 22,000 yen which is like two hundred dollars a little bit less than that because of the exchange rate um, but yeah they do amazing work for an insane price honestly that's a crazy price for the the quality of work they do like this is crazy I'm, I'm sure you've probably seen their work before because they they do a lot of commissions from VTubers. Um, but yeah, uh, they, they did uh, they did Maida, and the, uh, the only main the only um, caveat with commissioning um, Rizu Panda is their uh, amount of time um, they, they take to make it. it. It can really vary, and that's also a, a point of contention with Skeb as well. A lot of the times. Um, you can't control if they get a delay in real life and they have to delay your art and you can't really do anything about it and that's just something you have to um you have to because it because it is kind of like a service where you're paying them and it's like, a, like they give you whatever and that's kind of the main thing um it's just kind of um it's kind of like how it is um but yeah their work is really amazing and like if you're on a budget like skeb is a great place to get some stuff done um yeah you also got to be careful you put into your um you got to be careful what you put into your commission to skeb to make sure that um like uh you put in here yeah, i'm going to be using this for an album art or hey, i'm going to be using this for a stream thing just so that they know everything you're using it for and then when they accept it and they use it for something else they won't be upset that kind of thing but yeah skeb is amazing you just got to be careful and i gotta turn off the nat safer work button if you don't want to see some crazy stuff <laughs> But yeah, for Skeb, that's how I, uh, just to recap, that's how I kind of had the basis to start um, designing my Datsan over here. Um, and yeah, Skeb's great. Skeb is awesome. Skeb is, Skeb is great. And that's also where I found the artists I used for the rest of the album arts and the singles and stuff. So yes, sorry, let's let's look back at the chat again. Um, hello, how you guys doing? Uh, <laughs> how you guys doing? That was a, that was a time. Um, let me, let me read. <laughs> Great time to join Thomas the Tank. Welcome back. Oh man, I pray for it. It'll be fine. <laughs> okay, you prefer working with family owned since I have some skills to put on for cheaper ones. Got you, got you. Oh, so how you guys doing? How you guys enjoying the album? By the way, it's been out for a little bit more than 24 hours, right? This is the last. It was midnight two nights ago. Yes. That's today. The 29th. Okay, it was... No, it was midnight. It's been out for like a little bit over 24 hours. <laughs> a lot of to start. I know, right? When's the next album? Good question. Um, I see an artist that I'm going to save for later because their work looks really good. Also, another thing that happens to me because I discovered Skeb is because I now I just like constantly just go through it to find all these new artists. I'm like, ooh, I could potentially commission them for an album art. Ooh, I could potentially commission them as well. Uh, it's, it's 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 been it's been a it's been a, a time waster. But also, it's not really a waste of time because I could use those artists in the future. It's great. Um, use commission. I don't like saying the word use. Um, but anyways, crave next album is the question. Um, I'm already setting it up and I'm not saying when I'm trying to get it out because I was originally trying to get this album V Energy out um, by the end of June of this year and obviously that didn't happen it got delayed by a couple months um, because I didn't want to rush it and I, I have a history for rushing things and I'm trying to change that um, and I hope that you can see that with this album because this is like super high quality compared to a lot of the stuff that I've been releasing, in my opinion at least. Like, the finesse is there, is what I'm trying to say. Um, and it took like three extra months to get that. And I'm happy I took those three extra months because if I didn't, it would not be as good as it, as it is now. Um, so yeah, I started working on this album in March, the beginning of March. Um, and my I was trying to put a whole album out in june so that's way way too little time for that <laughs> um but 
Um, yeah, so that's way too little time for that, and I'm happy that I, I took my time with it. And I, I really wanted to try to get it out during the summer because you know, big summer album. Everyone does a great summer album, um, but like. I don't know. I, 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 I prioritize the quality over the timing because if I did it in June, I would not have, I would have never had enough time to put the finesse in it and also would not have enough time to release the singles out in a way to where it'd be, like, it would build up hype the way that I did it this time around. You know what I mean? Um, so, yeah. Um, the next album, I am already working on it and I already have a theme going and I've already contacted four people and three of them said yes. So we're already on the roll, baby. Um, I'm actually gonna start writing in the album next week. Um, this week I still have a, a bit of work to do for V Energy. I have to still make, I have still have to finish up the extended mixes, which I haven't been able to do that. Um, I needed a bit of a break last week and I was, I was supposed to do it last week, but I wasn't, I wasn't able to, I was pushing myself. I said, you know what, got chill. Um, but I gotta do the I gotta do extended mixes this week, and I gotta release the instrumentals as well. There's gonna be another Bandcamp upload with a alternate um, album art, which I'll show you. Hold on, let me get the alternate album out. Uh, um, uh, album art. So the uh, how, there's going to be an alternate album art for um, for the instrumental and uh, extended mixes over on uh, Soundrop, and it's looks like this. Nothing crazy. It's just like a. A shadow version. It, you, you you probably saw it in the shorts trailer of the uh, album official release announcement. Uh, but yeah, this is going to be the album art used for um, the album version of it being all, only instrumentals and uh, extended mixes. It's going to be out on Bandcamp um, as soon as I can get it ready. Honestly, uh, I got figured out. I got distributed through um, my people, and we'll see how long it takes to get out. But uh, I'll definitely be finishing that up whenever I can. Um, but Yes. Um, let's see. Yeah. So next album, um, I don't want to give away too much, but um, by the one. Okay. So I'm basing I based the theme off of this next album coming out, which not yet in not even in uh, production yet. But the next album I'm doing is is based off of the the singles that did great, basically. It's the other thing was I did great, but like one of my, like the Shiki single and the and the uh, Nana Asteria song off the album, like a lot of people really liked those two. Um, I did too, so it's basically the next album is going to be more on the edgier side, <laughs> without giving away too much. Because um, I also have been wanting to do that like more edgier stuff generally, because that's just kind of where my heart is. You know, I'm, I'm a big Porter fan. Um, Worlds was a big part of my. Um, upbringing, I guess. My big is Worlds really, um, Porter Robinson's Worlds album kind of inspired me to change my entire sound because I was so impacted by it. Um, specifically the live uh, the live versions. The album version is great too, but the live versions were really like changed my life basically. Um, and it's like that whole thing that he put up, his the live, Worlds live show is super fucking edgy and it's like super dramatic and I fucking love that um, so I want to do something like that for my next album but yes um, yeah so I'm working on that album and I'm gonna see when it, a good time for it to be released is because uh, one of the main critiques I have for myself on the energy is the mixing consistency is not there for me personally because um, I rushed the first three singles um, and kind of finish those out without, and then after that, I kind of finished the rest of the album and added more finesse on everything afterwards. And I wasn't able to match the finesse of the rest of the album to the singles because I rushed out the singles. So for the next album, I want to make sure most of the album is finished before I start releasing singles. That way, I have like more of a conformity of sound throughout all the songs. Um, and not my, it might not be obvious to a lot of you who this, who listen to the album that there's like a conformity issue with it. It's it's all it's it's pretty like it's a lot. A lot of the things that I critique myself on specifically for this album are kind of minute things. It's kind of like mixing choices, sub level, uh, sub bass levels specifically. It's like a big problem with me, um, and a vocal placement of the mix in certain songs, like um, "Burn Your Fears." The vocals on that is a lot louder compared to a lot of other songs. Um, I need a better light situation in my room um, and just like stuff like that I could have made it a lot more consistent 
um, if I if I didn't rush those three singles out because you know after you release those singles you can't change them because they're already released, um, and that's just kind of how it went and that's okay. It's my first time making an album like this, uh, so I'll just give myself some slack. But for the next one, I'm gonna really make sure everything sounds more even more cohesive than this album. Um, yeah, it's just kind of. It's a learning process because this is really honestly my first big album in an extremely long time. Like I would consider this my debut album because the last time I made an original album was in 2013 and my my creativity, um, my view on where I am creatively, creatively, creati wow what a word. Basically like my inspirations back then in 2013 were completely different than they are now. My techniques back then were completely different than I am now, and the way I made the album back then were completely different from the way I write them now. Back then, I had no idea how to write lyrics. Now, I can't stop writing lyrics. Well, it's not like I can't stop writing lyrics, it's that I found my process in writing lyrics now. Um, and for the longest time, I thought I couldn't write lyrics. And um, that's, all, that's another story. Um, so in the beginning of uh, this year, actually, uh, I, I got together with my brother, I'm Naku, uh, and I made, we, we kind of like rented a cheap Airbnb somewhere, split the cost of the Airbnb for a week. Um, and we were able to kind of like sneak in like my computer and all my instruments and stuff and like record an album um, with him because him and I, um, not, I'm Naku, if you guys want to check it out, I am underscore N-A-K-U. Um, I produced his like debut single a long time ago because I, I knew back in the day, like he had it. He's been like writing songs. He has a very he's really cool and like at what he does. So, but he didn't really know how to make music. So I was just kind of there to like, hey, we should make a song because you have a lot of really cool ideas. And um, we came up with Stage Struck, uh, and that song did insanely well. It was it's actually crazy how well that song did. Um, and then after that, we did like a, a five song EP. Um, and then there's been a long time since that five song EP. And I've obviously learned a lot more than that. So I wanted, I told him, hey, we should make another album. And so that's what we did at the beginning of the January. January. Um, a lot of it is unfinished, but it's all planned out. I just got to get in the studio and work on it. Fuck, I have so much got to do. But anyways, um, one of the songs on the album was going to be like, okay, like we made most of the album, right? We've planned out most of the album during this time. And I was like, hey, there has to be one song on this album that's like the stage struck of this album. It has to be like more poppier. Because a lot of the stuff that he does is like kind of a lot more experimental sounding um, and like very dramatic and stuff. But we need, I told him we need at least one single on there that's that's more like friend, like re basically like radio friendly, but like more like, more like catchier, you know what I mean, in a way. Um, and we needed, I told him we need one song like that. And he didn't have anything written that could match that criteria, criteria at the moment. So we had to sit down and, and write a completely new song. Um, and that whole process was very like eye-opening for me because um, I, I wrote a lot of that song with him, but I was kind of leading the process and like, oh, wait a second. If I can write music like this here in the, in the way that I did with him, I, could, I can write anything else too. So I kind of from there I figured out like oh shit I figured out how to do this in that moment because I'm like we need we need to get this done we only have a week we only have a week's time to do it so it kind of forced myself to write lyrics and you know I also helped him write lyrics throughout the entire process too but he was the main lyricist in the process of writing the album but um, just that whole week I spent with him um, taught me how to write lyrics and from there I was like after that album like oh shit I can write lyrics now. So I'm like, I want to make an album. Like, I, I think I, I think I'm ready to do this. Um, and then, you know, um, a couple months later, because this was in January, a couple months later, I'm like, I'm gonna make this album. Because it took me a couple months after that to be like, because I started like at that. Okay, after that album making process, like, okay, it's a whole new year, new me. I have to start making anime remixes again. Like, hmm, what should I do? I looked at my stuff. Like, okay, my one of my best performing songs have been for the longest, longest time are my two Vocaloid song, two Vocaloid remixes, one is uh, Two Face Lovers and Disappearance of Hatsune Miku. Those have been doing extremely well. I'm like, okay, why don't I do more Vocaloid remixes? So I'm like, oh, hell yeah, I'll do that this year, 2024. I'll do Vocaloid remixes here, this year. Um, so after January and I did that whole album thing with my brother, I'm like, okay, this year I'm gonna, I announced I'm gonna make Vocaloid remixes. Uh, I made two remixes and I actually, made, actually I started a third one um, and that was in February, uh, that was in January and February, right? And this whole time I was contemplating and thinking about like, man, I wish I could make original music. 
and then that's where I put to, I would start put two and two together. Like, wait a second, I was able to write lyrics for my brother, um, and I want to make original music. Why don't I do just Why don't I just stop doing what I'm, what I'm doing now and make original music? Because it's been so long, and I was always told myself, I'll make a new album next year. I'll make original music next year. I'm like, why don't I just fucking do it? So that's what I did. So March started. I'm like, I'm gonna make original music. Um, and one one of the main things, if if you guys have been listening uh, to like my older like my more recent remixes before V Energy. Um, you you might have noticed that a lot of my music has been started leading leaning more towards that EDM sound, like more like like the main stage EDM type sound. It's just been what I've been really digging in the last past few years, just more of like a, that main stage sound. Um, and I told myself, okay, if I'm gonna make original music, I don't want to overwhelm myself and go with like full concept album and like a lot of experimental stuff because starting out too big is not a good idea because that's I've already tried doing that. Um, and I've learned the hard way that like, oh, I want to make a concept album. I am not there yet. Um, so I was like, I, I told myself, okay, I'll, I'll I'll take it simple this time around and just just make like EDM bass house songs, like you know, just general structures. You got a, got some singing, you got a build up, you got a drop, you got a boom, and then you got the second verse, you got a build up, and you got a drop. And like, okay, that'll be the main structure that like everyone uses in like EDM and stuff don't straight like start with that and then you can start experimenting from there and that was kind of the rule i laid down for myself when creating the energy um like don't like don't go too crazy because it's your first time like really making a bigger body of work um so you know i, I you guys probably can tell a lot of the structures like almost all the structures and all the songs of this album are pretty simple and that's my design because i didn't want to overwhelm myself and structure is one thing and like if you could have a simple leash, a simple structured song, but still make it really interesting to listen to, if the things within that structure are very intricate and stuff, and that's just kind of what I kind of what I did for the album. Um, so yeah, January I made an album with my brother. Fe uh, February I'm like, okay, I'm gonna make vocal remixes. March I'm like, you know what? Stop making remixes. You're burnt out. Let's make an album. I made an album, and um, I was like, I'm gonna try to release it in June for Anime Expo. That was too much work. Uh, delayed it until I was ready to release it and I was like looks like we're releasing in September here we are um, yeah and because I delayed it I was able to release a fourth sing single and actually get a little lyric music video done and if you guys don't know that is a f is, is with you um, this song this lovely song um, and uh, because I was able, because I delayed the, the production of the album I was able to get a, a really cool um, lyric video done for this song and um Thank goodness I did that because the visuals for that also worked as like background filler for a lot of promotional material for the album as well and made everything look a lot more nicer. So thank goodness I got that done. Because I delayed it, I was able to make everything look so much better too. God. Okay. <laughs> um, yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm really like proud of this album <laughs> because I... I don't know. I, I feel like all my music in like the past couple years has just been kind of like this is good enough let's send it out you know what I mean um, and I always you know I pride myself on making my own videos for my songs um, but you know I can't do what this guy did like Fur Furyxia Fury I don't know exactly how to say their name but Fury they did an amazing job of this I can't do anything like that you know what I mean like that's another level like I, if, if you guys listen to my remixes like all of all those videos are pretty simple stuff. We got like an image, and we got like a sound visualizer, and then we got the lyrics on screen. And it's usually pretty static. Sometimes it's like kind of moving here or there, and we have some cool transitions, but nothing like crazy like visual effects like Fury can do. Like amazing stuff, that guy. Amazing stuff. Okay, okay. Let me let me let me start. I went a huge ass tangent. Let me start re reading the comments. I need to drink some water too because I'm. <laughs> I, I need to drink some water. Sorry, please put your please put your questions in the in the in the in the chat. Now I'll start reading them. <laughs> okay. Now back on the the, the mixing thing. Um, Scott said, I agree on that. Uh, it takes a lot of time to make sure the mix went smoothly. Yes. So, like, I want I want to show you guys uh, an older draft of this song with you man yeah i'll show you guys some of the um the
like before I sent it out to the vocalist, like um, what it sounded like then. Because like there are some songs on here. Hold on, let me see. Maybe not. Okay, maybe not. Oh, a better idea. Let me show you example of You Daddy Tonight. Um, let me see if this is the right whip. The right one. Oh, it destroyed my playlist. <laughs> oh, shit. Yeah, that's the that's the vocalized version. How about this one? 1 minute 30, 2 minutes 40, 3 minutes. Damn. Okay, okay, okay. Here it is. Okay, well, okay this is Yari Tonight Whip 1. Okay, okay, cool. All right, cool. So this, okay, let me show you Yari Tonight um, before I got the vocals in, right? This is crazy. So Obviously, I had to do a tick track at the beginning so the vocalist can come in at the right time. But. Right away, you can tell that a lot of the synths and the placement of the synths and like it, like the all the sound design kind of i feel i i personally i feel like they're a bit too loud over everything and they kind of stick out a little bit um and and obviously this is like this is a draft before like the the main vocals are in but like at this point i was like oh shit this song is awesome at this point this is me at the time like i've never made anything like this before this is great so i was kind of more i'm like like the the i was i was on the hype you know what i mean when i was making it and i wasn't like i wasn't level and like okay take step up take a step back joe like you got, you got to make this sound good. You know what I mean? You can't just like, like I, a lot of my, a lot of my projects in the past, I'm always running on a hype. You know what I mean? I was with this album because I took my time with it. Um, I was able to sit back and be like, okay, this needs to be a little bit quieter. You know, you need to add more compression to this. It's sticking out of the mix. There's not a lot of compression glue, you know, that kind of stuff. Um, pull it, hold on. So let me, let me, let me see. So this was created March 6th, right? The very the very first render of this song was created on March the second, um, and then when I sent the song out to be sent to um, to what's the word when I when I sent this out to be a single officially released. Let's see when that was created. My energy finals. Oops. Oh no. Hold on, guys. It's gonna. It's uh, FL Studio is opening. Oh no. It's gonna crash the audio. Uh uh testing not good did not mean to do that <laughs> testing 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 oh we're back we're back okay we're back okay cool okay so yeah i can't open up the studio and because it, it'll fuck up obs <laughs> okay hold on hold on hold on so when i sent out you daddy tonight let me see when i sent that out so you daddy tonight so i started at march the 2nd and I finished it on May the 23rd. Yeah. So January, February, March, April, May. So that's like three months. That's three months of listening to it over and over again. Be like, okay, we got to adjust this. Okay, we got to adjust this. Okay, we got to adjust this. So let me hear what the drop sounds like. Because one of the things I had a problem with the song was, well, generally one of the things I had a problem with the album was trying to get how loud everything was before the drop. Because you want the drop to be the loudest part, right? But you don't want to push the volume too loud everywhere else because it'll sacrifice how hard the drop will hit. You know what I mean? Um, obviously, there's a lot of th you know things you can do there um, to kind of have that difference easier done without just doing volume levels, like um, using stereo separation, like having a lot of the song before the drop not being too stereo separated, like surrounding the having the sound sound surround you too much before the drop you know what i mean so that when the drop comes full separation happens and it hits harder because everything else has been kind of here and the drop comes and it's like here like left and right hard pan instead of like like it's hard to explain i was trying to explain this to people who don't know what like stereo separation is <laughs> um so basically like okay so like when you put a sound and you you hundred pan it and you only hear it in your ear left ear here you, like and then you can do it the other side you only hear it in your right ear right there's a huge difference there. Now, if you take two different sounds that sound very similar 
and you do that one on this side and one on this side, it'll make it sound a lot louder than it really is. And that's just kind of how like stereo separation can work in a way to make things sound louder than they are. Um, it's 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 kind of the way it's like in the listening field. I don't know. I'm sorry. <laughs> but anyways, anyways, a bigger a big problem I had when making the album was um, kind of trying to figure out how loud everything will be before the drop and then but still having it at a good level so that the drop isn't too loud and the, the listening experience isn't too weird overall because the song will, the songs will the song will end and then this next song will start and it'll be too soft and you know what i mean because like the drop is too loud and so the balancing that took s- s- a very long time especially for you daddy tonight let's let's listen a little bit more Snare's too loud. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> the drop sounds reg- relatively the same as it does now. One of the main things, though, that, that I really worked on for this song and the drop, you can't really hear it with this, is that there's a there's a very distinct lack lack of sub bass here. Like if you compare that, if you compare this song, okay, let me let me just put it side by side. So let me just show you the drop. Like there's such a big difference in sub bass. Let me show you. So let me play it, and let me show you the uh, the final version at this drop. It's crazy. Right, and then here's the new here's the newest version, right? This is the one that came out. Snare's quieter. <laughs> I'll, I'll go back to back as well. And big stuff right here. Hear the difference? So much more full here. Compared to this. Right? 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 It's 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 a big difference. Um and literally all I did was I took okay, so the the main difference to achieve the different uh, the the sub bass difference there is I took the bass synth the I took that so when I made that synth in Serum I put the sub oscillator on there and then I put everything into a compressor in the mixer right so the sub the mids and the high highs were all in one compressor so the compressor was doing extra work and couldn't balance out the sub with the mids and the highs as well as it could have if the sub was just taken out of the synth and put into another another mixer slot so that the sub could so the sub and all and, and everything all the all the other information in that synth will have room to breathe that way you can push everything louder and higher and then you clip the fuck out of everything and then you make it even louder <laughs> and i've le- clipping is amazing so i i didn't actually use clippers on this specific song because this is the very first song every other song um after i think burn after after you burn your fears every other song after that i abused the hell out of clippers that shit is crazy um and that's what kind of opened up everything for me clipping um <laughs> it sounds weird. I gotta do another stream with Apple Studio open so I can show you what I mean. But like, like you know, if in SoundCloud jokes where it's like, oh yeah, I love my waveform to be a complete fucking brick wall. That's kind of what I did, <laughs> but not to the extent of the meme of the brick wall meme. Um, but like, basically, when when the drop hits, you want to brick wall everything. You want to clip everything that needs to be clipped so that you can push maximum loudness for the drop. Everything else, you can use clippers as well, but you don't have to do the crazy amount of clipping to make it extremely loud. And 
pushing everything. I was even clipping percussion. I was clipping percussion. I was clipping literally everything. I was clipping the kicks, the snares. I was clicking the cl clipping the hi hats and the claps and the crash cymbals. It doesn't matter. It gets clipped. Like when the drop hits, everything's clipped. Everything is distorting. But it's like distorting just enough to where you don't notice it. And with that, you can push the volume levels extremely loud. Clip the master. Always clip the master. Well, n don't always. Don't, don't clip the master. Put a limiter. On, like, minus is zero one. Uh, <laughs> clip it. Fuck it. Um, but yeah, so that's um, that's an example of like a... Let me see what else changed here. This is a old version of uh, Yudati tonight with Miku on top. Oh yeah, also I use Miku. I use Miku um, for... Uh, um, for top line examples and hey here hey could, here's my here's my song and uh, here's here's Miku singing it could you sing over that and there you go thank you and that's how that's kind of how I sent it to all the singers <laughs> um, and that's actually kind of how Aloha does it as well uh, I, I've uh, the, through the process of this album um, I befriended Aloha as well just like messages on my Twitter I was like hey what's up I like your stuff um, and it's funny they they also do the same thing I didn't even know like it, it's the vocal is a great tool for like um, for like uh, temporary vocals it's crazy um anyways so let me see that what else is in the, this old version and this this part over here i like how maida is like always dancing at 128 so if i play it at the right time it's gonna sync up <laughs> Heads up! Man, I really want to play this album live. It's like made to be played on the stage. I'm trying to. Rem oh yeah. Okay. So this second, this this drop here. I changed the sound design a lot. You'll 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 hear it compared to like where it is now. Ugh. Gross. That's loud. I don't like that sim. Oh, oh that's rough. <laughs> oh man, yeah, that's a that. As you can tell, there's a lot of there's a lot of synths that I redid in that version, and a lot of synths that I kept as well. Um, but damn, that was that was rough. Like they're 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 like the main the main like melody stuff, dun, 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 that kind of stuff, like. There's a lot of good stuff in there, but there's also a lot of bad stuff in there. <laughs> one more time, one more time. <laughs> Obviously, the volume levels are also whack, too. Oh, damn. One more time. Switch. Also, the switch was a splice sample. Uh, eventually, I, I recorded my own switch. And, um... Yeah. So yeah, all, all the all of okay, also all the little like um like come on pull up switch all that kind of stuff is me. Um, it, it's you can probably tell there's not too much editing on it. But for this this switch, um, you know I I, I use the splice sample and like okay I don't want to use I hate using splice for vocal anything. So I'm like um I'm just gonna re-record my version of switch. Uh, and then I liked my version better because I was able to work with it more. So but I used the splice sample to start with. You know what I mean. So switch. <laughs> switch. So bad. Man, nah, I need better lighting in this room. Goddamn. <laughs> yes. 
And that's how originally that's originally how it ended. And you know, of course, you know, now it's like you have that extended outro there. Daddy. It's I, I like in the original version it just kind of exploded there like this. There's no like stay with me, you daddy as the outro. Because like I I added that outro there because I was like, damn, the chorus only really sings once in this song. Like, I need to play it at the end. It, it was a nice little. I, you can hear it one more time before the song ends. So, like, I thought it was a nice touch. Um, but yeah, the the sound design complete. Like, I there was a lot of editing and sound design as um as this project went because when I, as I was making this album, I was looking up tutorials and learning more on how people get loud mixes and do all the interesting sound design things. And one of the things I saw that a lot of people did was to streamline like their their process and in, in their project they they render out like they, they render out like a, a sound design they render out sound design into audio that way it doesn't take up a lot of cpu but i don't like doing that because when you render it out you can't change it in a way it makes sense to do that because like like okay this is good i don't want to touch it because if i don't touch it you know i'll just end up tinkering it forever you know what i mean i get i get that but at the same time i spent i spent like three months i spent like three ish months on this song tinkering sound design because i needed it needed it to be perfect that last part was terrible this this is gross like compared to what it is now like the sound design what i did back then to what it is now completely different like I needed that extra time. I, I, the way I work, I do not like taking something and then rendering it out into audio to save CPU. Like because I all there's you can always change it in the future if you change something. It's not like I like I don't know. It's just the way that I work. Um, also, it sucks that I work that way because my computer isn't that strong. If it was, if it you know if it was stronger, I could get away with doing that. But because it's not, I have like 70 serums open and my computer is fucking, dur, 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 dur. you know what I mean? It's like, it can't handle all that shit. Because if I, if I just took the serums and just rendered it out, I would, I could only have like 10 open instead of 70. You know what I mean? But you know me, I like changing a bunch of shit all the time. So it just doesn't work. I just got to get a new computer. <laughs> oh my God. I said I was going to answer questions and I didn't answer questions. I went another tangent. Oh God, I'm bad at doing this. Okay. Hi guys, put your questions in the comment again. I'm gonna actually look at it this time. <laughs> Get a new PC. Well, the main thing I need to replace is the CPU because it's the C. This is, I've had the same CPU for like ten years. Um, it's about time to up upgrade. You know what I mean? <laughs> mhm. Mm mm -hmm. Black Friday, Cyber Monday. I'm thinking of switching over to AMD processors because um. Um, <clears throat> I don't want to make the jump for Intel to, to that, like that next, there's a, there's a, there, there's like a next gen of Intel where you have to use like more expensive Ram or something like that, um, to, to use the processors. And I don't want to go that, I don't want to go that route yet because I don't think it's like it's a whole other, it's so much more expensive. Like the processor will be cheaper. Yes. But everything else around it would be more expensive. So I was thinking about just going AMD because AMD, um, I think they, there's, I looked it up a long time ago, but the, the what FL Studio and uh, music production needs, um, AMD processors have a have like they're more streamlined for that. There's like there's specific numbers I forget, um, but I was thinking about going AMD um, because for the amount of the specific thing that I was looking for, AMD is better pr cost effective without having to go to the next gen to use different RAM. Sorry, um, <laughs> but yeah, um, take Intel works better with FL. I see. Uh, Image Light actually recommends Intel. I see. Okay, I'll look more into it because I, I still I still haven't necessarily like crossed out Intel yet. Um, but maybe I mean, at the time when I was looking, getting the new type of RAM was hard. So things have might have might have changed by now. I'm sure they have changed by now. Um, I'll look into it. Anyways. Um, but yes, Black Friday, Cyber Monday. I will look to see if i can afford to get a new processor processor because we'll have to see how this album does because money is hard um yes anyways um you guys have any questions about the album i've just been talking out my ass this entire time let me let me start actually <laughs> um answering some questions it says i think you need a new motherboard instead of ram yeah i'm for sure if i get a new if i get a new um processor i'll definitely need a new motherboard for some of the newer options out there. 
He says, I have an I-9 sitting box because I don't want to bend my MP pins again. Damn, brother. Uh, strong single core performance is the key for music. Ah, oh, I see, I see. How do you choose your vocal singers? Okay, that's a good question. Um, how do you choose your vocal singers? Um, hold on, I need another drink of water. Hold on. <laughs> Also, there's no music. Let me play some music. Let's uh, play the album. Let's go. I might be like, oh, okay. Down. See, I just pushed play randomly, and she's still dancing. Like, she's still got it. You know what I mean? <laughs> Anyways. um, Let's see. How do you choose your vocal singers, right? Okay, so. <clears throat> how do I do that? How do I do that? So, for this for this album, um, it kind of goes by. Um, let me think. A lot of the times, it's I choose a vocal based off the vision I have of the song or song idea I started out with. Um, and another time, and other times. Um, I listen to someone's vocals and be like, oh, I can, I think, you know, I could sometimes, like, sometimes it's song idea first, but honestly, most of the time is I listen to the vocalist and I'm like, ooh, I can make a cool song um, within the range. I think they'd sound cool in this kind of song. Um, so most of the time it's, it's me listening to someone's voice and me and being inspired by what they can do and having the idea at, at that time. Um, and, um, Especially with this next album I'm working on, um, with this next album, I have a very specific sound in mind. So there's going to be a lot of um, like there's gonna be a lot of sound like singer choices I'm choosing to be like okay I'm choosing this person because it'll match the next album's theme sonically. Um, so uh, yeah, I guess I guess you can say at least from here, like at least at least for my big next big project. Um, the way I'm looking at vocals for that one is what does it match the vision I'm looking for for this specific album. Um, I like to work with themes generally uh, when it comes to albums. Like uh, if you saw, if you guys know about my Zenpaku album, which actually let's put that on. Um, yeah, I, I, this is the first time I did hard techno, by the way. God, I'm so proud of this. I can't wait to drop that song live somewhere. But the, the place, the place has a good sub bass. Cause that's just gonna go do do do. Ah. Anyways, sorry, I'm getting off track again. Um. So yeah, for this next album I'm doing, <laughs> gonna be, gonna be sometime out next year. Um. The the vision for I like I like working I like to work, I like to make bodies of work, with a theme in mind. Like I like I like good theming. Um. So. Depending on what the theme is, it will depend on what vocalist I look to collaborate with. Um, sometimes the vocals you hear will be like, oh, I didn't expect this kind of vocals for this kind of song. Um, so, so sometimes I have an idea, but like, what if we use a person with a more higher pitched voice for something more serious, like Cursed? That was the idea. That was the concept I had for that. I like working concepts, I guess. Um, so. I can't. I don't want to say anything goes, but I want to say that a lot of what I do is very concept-based, being like a serious song, but you didn't expect a higher voice singer on that song, or a cute song, but you didn't expect a lower voice singer. So, something like that. I, I like. I like taking different concepts. Like, okay, for this song, I want to do like I want. I want to feel like grandiose. You know, I, I want to be like this song specifically. Actually, stay alive. I I went into this song going like I want something that feels big because I wanted to start big. Because this, this, it kind of like, it'll tell you what the album is about. You know what I mean? I wanted the first song to be like, feel alive, go do what you want, go dance. You know what I mean? And the rest of the album, you're dancing. That's that's kind of that's that's the whole this whole concept for this this album is to dance. You know, to get your energy up going, get your blood flowing, dance like she is. You know what I mean? Like, so yeah. Long story short, short the way I choose vocalists is through. Um, is very theme dependent and uh, a lot of the times it comes through like do I have a good idea with this vocalist you know, or do I have a do I have a good idea already and I think uh, this kind of vocalist would work with idea with that idea but everything revolves around a certain theme or concept um, yes 
Speaking of concept albums, let me put this on in the background. Just shill it, you know what I mean? Also, new Zenpaku coming out in January. I'm not going to say what it is. It's really cool. Um, let's see. Where is it? Okay, that's 2024. I released this in like 22 or something. Right? Was it 21? When the hell did I release uh, it's, um, Od Odyssey Cycle? Originals. Miku Contest. Didi Song. Where is it? Where the hell did I put this goddamn album? Is it 2020? There's no way it's 21. Yeah, it's not 21. Oh, it's in a completely different folder. Okay, hold on. <laughs> Everything is everywhere, brother. 22. Rhythm Game Projects. Is this? Is this it? It is it. Wow. Okay. 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 That I didn't know I named it that. Um. So let's see. Videos. We'll just play the video. Um. Because also really proud of that video. It looks sick. Renders. Um. Cycle full album. All right. You guys could also look at it because I'm super proud of this too. So I think this album is super underrated. <laughs> Anyways, let's put this in the background. Um. So yeah, I like to work in themes. Uh, and concepts. Hold on, let me raise the volume. I like to work with themes and concepts, um, and when when I'm creating a bigger body of work, um, and this right here, this is the album I released before I released uh, V Energy, and it was under a different alias, my Zenpaku alias, which is very much rhythm game focused to music, um, and yeah, this what I did with this album with this concept is I tried to tell a story. The first song tells um, talks about kind of sets up the theme boom and then we're up in the sky so the first song that plays is like a piano thing and that first song contains all the main melodies from every song every main song in the ep right um and that was kind of a little setup for the whole thing and then like in the odyssey it kind of starts and then here we are uh, amelioration is a song about just a big like grand like it's is it's kind of like what i did with um v energy's first song it's kind of a big grand we're setting up this big adventure type song right uh, we, and we go along the next time after that let me take this out this is really huge so next song uh, next song after amelioration is passage which is literally just a song about traveling um it's literally called passage like it, we're going through a passage um and yeah it's it tries to give, it gives that inner adventure feel right and the next one after that This is Blast Plus. This is where we fight a boss. And we got Demon Dice on it too. Let's go. Um, and then, yeah, Demon Dice is on the song. And this is like, kind of has like that boss battle feel, right? And then after that, we got Resplendent back. Oh, no, no, no. Wait, wait hold on. Blast? No. Okay, okay. No, no, no. Okay. Oh, no, no. Okay. I remember now. So, Passage, we're traveling. Blast Plus, we get into a fight, right? And then Resplendent Black, we fight the boss. The big menacing break course on right and after that we get decision which is just a piano interlude it's kind of like okay we destroyed the boss but what did this mean for everyone else as you can see now the scene in the background is like all messed up compared to the first scene over here see this, this first scene is just kind of setting up the theme setting up the world and then we go to we go to um decision and now there's a whole war that happened because we've been through a lot of stuff and the decision is like kind of you contemplating okay we defeated this boss um, now what are we going to do? And then that's when we get to Pilgrims. Um, it's still the same scene as well because we're figuring out what we're doing. Um, and this song talks about, there's like, there's some lyrics on it, but it's just basically, it talks about like, we're going to move on for the situation and we're going to keep going. And we're, yeah. So that's what I did a long time ago. I think in 2022, when the hell did this come out? So this is under Zenpaku. Um, and uh, yeah, Zenpaku was uh, is is my is my kind of passion project for making rhythm game music, and I went all out for this album, and it's super underrated. Please go check it out. <laughs> so this is Odyssey cycle is like Zenpaku. Sorry, I went off on another ch tangent, but it, it it did have something to do with how I choose vocalists. <laughs> and yes, fun fact: Pilgrims was created a very very long time ago. I think in like 20, 2012 or something. It's you could actually find it on my DJ Joe Bandcamp. Um, and I took it and I couldn't find the, the Fruity Loop file, so I had to recreate it from scratch, from the bottom up, and I made it in like a modern, like, Zenpaki style.
Anyways, I love concept albums. This is like, this is my first, like, this right here is like my first, like, legit concept album with, like, really cool visuals and I'm super proud of it. Um, but, excuse me, fast forward to, like, two or three years after this, I have my first big DJ Joe concept album. There we go. We're here. We're, we're V-Energy now. We're, 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 we, we're weebs. We, oh, wait, I don't want to show you spoilers. We're weebs and we, we make VTuber music now. Let's go. <laughs> Um, but let me get rid of that. There's the energy. Let me go through my files without showing you guys all my files. So you won't see the next album's name. Um, hold on a second. Let me put the album back on. But yeah, I'm going to answer the next question now. Sorry. I take like a million years to answer one question because I get distracted. Um, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. So masters, uh, playthrough. We're back. We're, we're back. We're Raven. We're playing at anime conventions. Hopefully, God, please book me. Oh my God. Uh, <laughs> let me load the volume a little bit. Okay, here we go. Let's go back to the questions. Uh, I was scrolling back up because it was a while ago. Let's see. All right, here we go. Um, was there any specific song that you got somewhat stuck on the longest? Uh, not w Not which one that took the longest to create, although I'm curious for that as well. Um, anywhere you had any idea blocks, any idea blocks. Um, God, the lighting is so bad. I am sorry. I am sorry. <laughs> I, I, I neglected to put up my, um, my light box to make it nice because I was too busy fixing everything else. Um, sorry. You now it's like, it looks like I'm in a dark room. Sorry. That's my bad. Um, anyway, actually I could probably, let me see something real fast. I think I could make it better. Uh, raising exposure on it because I don't want to raise exposure too high. It becomes super choppy with this really old webcam. Uh, configure video. Let's see. Let's exposure minus six. It's not that choppy. Yeah, it's it's a it's a lot better. A lot better. Yeah, we'll we'll take we'll take it we'll take it right. Yeah, it's not too choppy. Yeah, this is fine. This is fine. Okay. It's not as smooth as before, but you can actually fucking see me. So, anyways, <laughs> um, let's see. Back to the question. Let's reread it again. Was there any specific song that you got somewhat stuck on the longest? Um, not which one that took the longest to create, uh, although I'm curious for that as well, but anywhere you had any idea blocks. So um, I'd say the song that took the longest to um, longest to create was definitely Cursed. Let me play that. Let me find it, actually. And let me show you. So cursed. Hold on, we get one more time. Anyways, uh, <laughs> okay, okay, cursed. I, I'm gonna say it's cursed because, um, I actually finalized the song, right? But let me show you one of the older. Um, let me see. Okay, that has the vocals on it still. Hold on. It's probably fine. Okay, so number five. Let me see the second drop. Okay, that's when the dubstep drop came. Number four. Okay, okay, okay. Here we go. Here we go. All right. So let me look when these were created. Also, give you a little bit of um context as well. August created August fourteenth, April twenty ninth. Okay, sick. All right, and then this one. Does this one have the dubstep in it? It does not. Okay, this one, when was this one created? May the 2nd, January, February, March, April, May, June, July. Like, oh, crazy! Okay, yeah, it's definitely Cursed. All right, so um, when I first started Cursed, let me find the very first one with the Miku on it. Okay, so... This was created March 20th. Damn. Wow. This was created around the same time you Daddy Tonight was created. Oh, fuck. That's crazy. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. It's so much more empty. 
like because like the, the current version has like a in the background as well to kind of fill in that empty space it's so much it's, it's so different it's so different but the reason why i said this one took me the longest to like finish was because let me show you the second drop it's completely different right here okay this is crazy like how different this is but before I drop it though, I I might release this as like a VIP in the future because it's like it's fleshed out. But like, the main problem I had with the song and the reason why it took me forever to finish was because this second drop to me always felt underwhelming compared to what it is now. Like, I I I I was like I was like I, this second drop needs to be something else because it feels it feels good, but it doesn't feel amazing. You know what I mean? Because I wanted to hold myself to a higher standard due to this album. I wanted to make every drop feel like feel like, oh shit, I want you to make a stank face when you hear that drop. You know what I mean? And then this drop when I made it was I I, I felt like it wasn't it wasn't good enough. Let me show you. I think it's good. But here, listen. And we go back here again. God, that's such a bad bass design here. <laughs> oh, it's so like not good. It's so much more calm. I won't say not good. It's just it doesn't hit as hard. Now, like then we compare that to we compare that drop. That but let me let me get a newer version of that drop. When we had uh, knees vocals on there. Okay. Oh yeah, the bass is so much better now. It's still different too, like I changed so much, like this song has been changing so many times. Out of all the other songs, this song went through the most amount of changes. Mainly for the second half. Sound design wise, and structure. So yeah, as you can see, this one has like a... Like, it's good, right? But like... Like, listen to this shit, bro. Oh! Oh! Pull up! Let's go! <laughs> you know what I mean? You know what I mean? Like, you can't beat that. <laughs> it, it goes from like, let's go! Dude, let's fucking go! Did you break your fucking neck? It's it goes from like we're jumping, this is cool, to like oh my god, I'm gonna fucking I'm I'm I'm, you know what I mean? Like I I wanted this drop to hit harder, so I made it hit harder. But it took me months to figure out what I wanted to do. You know what I mean? So so okay, let me show you. Let me show you the timeline for that. Right, um, the first full version of the song that had that second drop was created in March the twentieth. Right, and then when I got her, when I got neat little knees vocals on there, and I kind of finalized the song structure, that was around the beginning of April. Right, and then I finalized the song to a point where, like, okay, I could probably release this, but I'm still not sure that second drop. That was May the second, right? 
And then when I finally made that drop was in August 14th. So January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August. So March from, from, uh, okay. So from the beginning of April, all the way to August is, is is it took that long to figure out that I wanted to do a, a dubstep drop there, and then when I did when I when I made that dubstep drop, it only took like a couple of days to finish because like I finally figured it out, you know, it finally clicked, you know what I mean? And then I was like, that's it, that's that's it, this song is done. Like man, <laughs> it's like oh, it's such it's such a hard drop, it's crazy. I was so, so the main inspiration for that. Wow, wow, wow was um uh, a knock two song i'm trying to remember what it was but yeah a lot of a lot of the stuff on this album was inspired by knock two iso xo um type stuff but yeah that's a that's so the, to answer that question <laughs> to answer that question um has to be cursed cursed is the one that took the longest to kind of finalize finalize and kind of like finalize the concept of the song and figure out what i wanted to do with it thank you cl king <laughs> for the question next one which song was the hardest to make creative hardest to make creatively creatively what song was the hardest to make creatively let me let me think about that let me look at this song list we got going here what was the hung, hardest song to make creatively hmm that's a good question a lot of the songs when i when i first started making this just they just came out because like i was so inspired to make something that like a lot of the, the concepts like i made like half the album in like a month um the first month i was making this but the longest song to make creatively the hardest song to make creatively hmm. i'm trying to think about this one because hmm. also, also another another thing sorry to go on the previous question before so i also, also i need a drink of water i need, I need to calm down i'm talking too much <laughs> hold on <laughs> Okay, so, so um, to also add a little bit more context to the last question I was asked, the another song that also took a long time to finalize was um, Nana Asteria's song "Savior." Um, that one was there's there's the, the strings were not in that song for like ninety percent of working on it. I added the strings like the last couple like the last month of working on the album i had those strings in there because i felt that i felt that song needed more as well see like that song that song also was created um sorry was also created around the same time cursed was and oh, excuse me that song was also created around the same time cursed was cursed was and that song um also had the same problem as cursed but not as bad as cursed where cursed i i wanted to redo a whole section to like make it better but with savior i just felt the entire song needed a bit of oomph towards the second half and i wasn't ex exactly sure what it was but i didn't want to redo anything i wanted to add to it or maybe change something slightly um and it wasn't of like until like kind of the same time around I did the dubstep job where I added the strings in at the last second and then Nana also came and was like oh hey I recorded these these extra lines at the end if you want to use them check them out I checked them out they were great and then I added that last the little UK garage section towards the end the uh na ta ni to do ke that part is that's like that's like my favorite part now it's crazy uh, well I mean obviously the drop is amazing I love that drop but that that last part because it's like so it's much more I worked at it much more recently I have it's I really like that section too and that's where the strings kind of bring kind of swell as well i really love the strings of that song um of course we had that little at the end for the extended outro that's that extended outro section was pretty plain as well so adding that little at the end as well with the strings made that section feel a lot better as well that, that extended outro feel a lot better too because before it was just a it was just the pluck and the it was just those two at the end but adding that string those strings at the end really added that extra oomph that song needed to to like end and i'm really happy with how that how it came out all right next question <laughs> hold on savior also was a tough song to mix as well because the that that section with the really loud chords was hard to get balance right but hard to get the balance right with the kick because it's just so loud um anyways next question uh which song was the hardest to make creatively it's 
That's a, that's a good question because I'm thinking about it. A lot of these songs were created through like spurs of like, oh, this is an awesome idea. And I just kept going on with the idea, right? Um, <clears throat> I'm trying to think of a song where I made it. It wasn't like, it wasn't as organic. You know what I mean? And... Uh, the, I'd say um, Blue Love. I was a bit worried with that one because um, when I started that one... Um, I just had a general idea of what I wanted to do with it, but I wasn't exactly sure. Yeah, I'd say it's Blue Love. I'd say it's Blue Love. Um, but yeah, I'd say it's Blue Love because it, I had a lot of doubts about that song before I got the vocals and stuff because I had no like, idea of the direction that, that song was going to go when it first came out. Um, and I admittedly, I said, hey, Didisha, do you want to write something for this song? You know, you want to do the top line and the lyrics? You want to you want to do that half? That way it could be more of a collaborative effort and so yes uh she was she was down to do that so i but i i gave her the, the amount of song i gave her i felt like was a little unfair like let me show you uh let me let me bring it up i felt like i should have gave her more music to work with but with what i gave her what she came back with was amazing and that's where the song just like oh shit i can make an awesome song with what you wrote and that's how the that's after I got after she after she gave me the vocals and the um and the lyrics, like that's when the ideas started clicking. Like when I, the initial idea of Blue Love was kind of hard to start, um, because I knew I wanted to make a song that wasn't as exciting as everything else in the album. I needed to place that in the middle, and that's what the song was. And it took a hard time to it was a hard time for me to figure out what I wanted to do with that, if that makes sense. And let me show you the very first. Um, version of this song and what I sent over to DDCR. No. Nope, that's not it. Um, project date. Don't get the coup. Whoop. Nope, is this, is this it? Nope. Is this it? Oh, this is it. Yeah. So, this is what I ended up sending to DDCR. Um, for her to write over. I think it's an okay amount, but it's like really plain, you know what I mean? So he had a lot to work with. Yeah, and this part repeated for like forever. So this is what I gave to the DCI and be like, hey, let's make a, can you write something to this? And she was like, yeah. And you know, she did, um, how do I write this? So when I say the hardest creatively is like, um, Okay, so yeah, that's that, right? I mean, I, and the reason why I chose this for like the hardest to make creatively is because I couldn't think of what else to do after that. Like I couldn't think of what else to send her. Like I was stuck. This is all I had. And the more I sat on this project, the more I was like, oh shit, I don't know what I'm doing with this song. This is all I can do. So everything relied on Edicia, you know what I mean? And that's, I was like, damn, that sucks. Like, like it's, it sucks that I can't think of any more to do with this song until I have like the written like the words and the lyrics you know what I mean and it, 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 and it made me feel like oh man this I hope this song turns out good because I don't really know what to do with it but you know as soon as, as she got me the vocals and the and the melody I was like I know exactly what to do so she she like I needed that I needed that extra part to figure out what to do with the rest of the song and that first part before I got the vocals is is what worried me so I I, I think I think that answer I think that this song would be the hardest um to make creatively i think i think that been the answer <laughs> shout out to the dcl amazingly talented singer and vtuber um yeah she wrote all the lyrics on that one and she wrote all the melody line lines for the lyrics on that one and she had the idea 
to have that section where it's like in the beginning the first drop where it's the vocals like two vocal lines singing some being sung at the same time i was like that's really cool and i decided to make both the um the vocals go around your your head like like water because the song is about water ish <laughs> it talks about like the sea and stuff so i was like okay i think having the 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 vocalists vocals go back and forth between your head would be a cool kind of like subtle nod to like water things so <laughs> that that's that one yeah thanks for the question flamium Fl flamium flamium i've never i never know how to actually say your name that's my bad but yeah <laughs> um what you mentioned on the compressors uh, was good to know. Were there any other design production techniques you picked up making this album? Yes, I picked up a lot. Hold on. I need some more water. I talk a lot, huh? <laughs> okay, so. My, my lovely wife gave me some boba thank you wife <laughs> um anyways um where was i All right next question it was uh you mentioned um on the compressors it was good to know were there other design production techniques you picked up while making the album yes so <clears throat> do i need water uh yes <laughs> um let's see anyways um let me think, let me think. Hmm. What techniques? Um, okay, so on the song Breakthrough Forever, which was one of the last songs I ended up finishing up, but let me play that. On Breakthrough Forever... Okay, so... Um, the way I made this album, I've, I was learning a lot as I was making it. Um, so that's why there's like a lot of problems with like a uh, sound consistency and like mixing here and there with the singles compared to the rest of the album, because I was learning as I was making the songs. Um, and as I, as I learned more, I went back to the previous projects and applied that knowledge to that song. Like, um like the whole clipping thing where I, I clip everything to make everything sound louder I didn't figure that out until halfway through the album and then after I started applying the clipping um, stuff that I learned through like Skrillex videos and stuff like that um, after applying it for the first time I'm like oh shit I could change this whole album sound um, and I started going back to you know adding clippers in the drop making the drops louder making the drops more aggressive um, another thing I learned um, is lining is lining up aligning all the percussion specifically so that um the the clicks the beginnings of all the of the whenever a kick hits right i want to move everything else i can out of the way of the beginning of that kick so that the beginning of the kick can always come through as hard um and i thought you know side chain would, would always work for that but i never thought about doing that for the hi-hats and all the effects and everything like that and I really applied it to this song the kick comes out really well so so this this dropper here with the, the crash hits right here so that that's like a crash cymbal and then up as well right the the crash cymbal and the the whoosh effect happen very slightly after the kick happens so you can't really tell that it happens like that but i did that so that the kicks the, the clicks the, the kicks click comes in so that it's always really loud song is a bit too loud sorry my bad uh let me lower that okay sorry what i was saying um in this song uh, i made sure that the click of the kick so like the click is is like the click is like the beginning of the kick that goes like that so the, when you hit the boom boom you also hear it on top of that so that it, it has a clicky hit on it and the, the kick sounds stronger. Um, so that click, the right when the, when the sample of the kick starts, I make sure everything that's on top of that, like the crash cymbals and stuff, is moved slightly to the right so that the click is all has nothing competing with it, right? Um, so that happens here, right? This is really simple here. 
It's just a kick right here. Nothing else. It's a kick in the synths. The synths are already are already being ducked down using sidechain, which is where the kick's volume is the kick's volume is being lowered to zero whenever the kick comes in and being raised back up to wherever it needs to be. So this next part with the those symbols, everything that hits that is moved very slightly off the kick, so that the kick still comes too strong, right? And this is all done through my uh, workflow, thank you. This is all done through uh, my workflow in FL Studio to where you can, if you ever, you know, if you see any any of the shorts that I post, you can see all my samples and how everything's arranged. Um, let me actually, let me open up um, the preview to um, this song. So I, could, I kind of don't have to open up FL Studio because if I do that, it'll crash the stream's audio. Uh, where is it? Um, which one is it? Breakthrough Forever B, 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 there it is. Breakthrough Forever Teaser, right here. So, let's open this up. Ah, it doesn't show any of the kicks. Hold on, it might show you. Oh, it should, no, it's just the snares here, but then. Ah, okay, hold on. Hold on. Let me bring up the, let me bring up the full video of that. Um, Hold on, let me. Let me, let me, cause like, uh, let me bring up the video I took on my phone for that specific video. I think it's, God, these are, I did not label these very well, so it's, hold on. <laughs> um, is this it? Oh yeah, this is, wow, I did, I hit it, wow, cool. I hit the clip, guys, clip it. Mom, get the camera. Oh, I didn't even, I didn't even, it doesn't even matter, that one doesn't work. Um, I could open up another one. Um, let's look at um, Blue Love, I think I did it in Blue Love as well. <laughs> Oh, perfect. Okay. What did I do here? Uh, I didn't do it here. Okay. So there's a little always. There's always. There might be some exceptions to the rule every now and then. Like here, I'll mean, show you an exception here. Okay, cool. Um, so here, um, here's an exception to the rule. Um, so right here is the kick, right? Oops. So right here. So here's a kick, right? And then here's the the here's the the snare or the um the rim shot. So the reason why I didn't move this forward a little bit to let the kick come out because this kick in general that I use in this section doesn't have a lot of hit in the beginning. It doesn't have a lot of high um, high end in it. So like it's always like boo, 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 if you know this section, right? That kick doesn't have a lot of high end on it. So my, my thought process here was I, my thought process here was I didn't need to move the snare forward a little bit because this kick generally doesn't have a lot of energy on the hit in the beginning and the snare will give it that energy. You know what I mean? But for songs like Breakthrough Forever where it's like and there's already a lot of energy there and the kick is really strong when you want the kick to, to stand out you want to move everything that's not on the kick over a little bit. So let me actually open up um, which one? With you? No, that doesn't have one. Um, oh, this one. No, no. Uh, does this show it? Hold on. I gotta make sure you're the only one has it in it. Um, short. Here it is. Oh, cool. Yeah, perfect. Right in the beginning. Okay. As you can see right here, it's kind of hard to see, but um, can I zoom in? Nope, cannot zoom in. All right, but yeah, you can see, if you look carefully here, you see the kicks here, right? And then the clap, right? The clap where this clap is here. So this clap is pre-shifted backwards so that the the hard, the high, like um, the high, the louder parts of the clap aren't interfering with the beginning of the click. So like where it's softer here, the kicks click in the beginning here lies there, right? This click, this clap right here is shifted a little bit already in its sample. And this kick, um, I probably should have shifted that forward a little bit, but I probably liked the sound better. Um, but yeah, but as you can see, there's, this is pre-shifted back a little bit so that the louder parts aren't starting where the kick starts. The kick, uh, and this clap is also kind of the same thing that way. And let me see, let me go forward to see. Oh, perfect, okay, we got more here. Am I talking out of my ass? Did I not do this technique on this song? Oh, no, 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 look. See, the kick here and the clap doesn't, uh, I, I always try to make, so, make sure that nothing starts the same time the click starts, the kick starts. That way, the kick will have more space for when the first hit happens, 
that it'll be stronger because there's nothing else interfering with that first hit. Um, see, this, the clap is actually before instead of after for this time. I just liked how it sounded. Man, I did not... Oh my god, I'm an idiot. Look at this. All these crash symbols... This okay. These probably should have been moved a little bit forward, but I can see kind of my thought process here. See how these crash symbols don't have much of a, a start, anyways. Like this one comes in. Like it doesn't come in hard like this one does. But these two don't have that, and this kick starts out really hard, right? I think my thought process here was this is probably fine to leave here because the kick is a lot louder than these starting positions are. I should have moved this one forward a little bit more, um, and this one probably should have been moved a little bit more forward. Um, but yeah, as, as you can see, my thought process now was, was a little bit different from back then. This was also a single, so I probably wasn't able to do that. I probably didn't figure out that whole process when this single came out. So that probably makes more sense. But um, yeah, as you can see, um, I was still learning when making this album. <laughs> so my thought process my thought process now is to move all these things forward just a little bit one. So this kick just a little bit more. So this kick can really stand out even more so. See what else we got here. Yeah, the kick comes before this. The the oh, that was weird. Yeah, the kick, the, the clap comes before the kick here. Um, we got some things layered on there. There's even more claps here. You see, this is shifted backwards and this is shifted forward. It gets a bigger, bigger clap. <laughs> kind of like a shifted clap by putting a bunch of different claps in different positions to have that little <laughs> kind of noise. Anyways, um, but yeah, so that's like something else that I've learned while making this album. Um, is the whole taking all these different percussion instruments and shifting them forward or backwards so that the kick has even more space to be in the mix because you want the kick in my in my mixes I want the kick to be extremely strong um, most of the time <sighs> okay I, I hope that answered your question <laughs> oh yeah because the question was what was the question again um, where am I The question was, um, are there any other design and production techniques making the album? Yeah, that yeah. So yeah, those that was one of the techniques. Um, I'm trying to think of the other one of the other techniques that I've learned. Um, I've learned some different settings for Pro L that make my mixes sound louder. Um, just adjusting the release and the attack to a different way, um, and also changing the transient and the release or something. It's, I forget. I just know what it looks like. I forget what it actually does. Anyways, uh, another thing that I learned throughout the album is, what did I learn? The main thing that, the main driver of inspiration for making this album in terms of like production, I'd say, is me figuring out um, the whole Clipper thing. The Clippers really changed everything about what I do. I, I, when, when I when I make that when I do that stream that stream FL Studio stream eventually in the future I will show you everything because it changed everything about what I did because like using clippers I'm able to like make I can make because like one of the one of the points of contention for me was like I want to make a song that sounds as crazy like it sounds it hits as hard as a Skrillex song does right because around the time when I was making this album, Skrillex released uh, Quest for Fire, which was a huge inspiration for this album as well. Um, and generally everything Skrillex does is a huge inspiration for me in terms of like how crazy everything hits you. Like everything everything that Skrillex does, he makes sure it hits you hard. You know what I mean? His mixing choices are crazy. Um, and so, uh, so, a lot, so one of the points of contention for this album for me was like, hmm, um, what... Like, why can't I make music like Skrillex does, right? Like, why can't I make my songs hit as hard as Skrillex makes his songs hit, right? And I was like, I can do that. Like, I, I can, like, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, for, I'm gonna, I'm gonna figure it out, and I'm gonna do it. And that's why I did with this album. <laughs> and the way I figured it out was through Clippers. I was like, I was watching, um, I was watching a Skrillex, um, uh. A Skrillex music video or whatever. It was him. Somebody. It was him playing through one of his songs, um, and, and with the project file open, right? So you could kind of see a little bit of what he's doing into the, in the song, right? Um, and I saw that he was putting Pro L on like 
almost every single channel. Like almost every channel he was putting Pro L on. I'm like, that's insane. I only put one Pro L on all my songs. It's, it's on the master. Because like I, I, I limit everything on the master using Pro L, right? He's putting Pro L on like all his sound design things and like a lot of drums and on vocals after the fact that this is he's putting these he's putting these after he's rendered out stems like he's he's compressing everything even more like using pre l after like he's using pre l as a compressor basically and on so many different things i'm like i never thought about that because like using pre l like that you're, you're it's a pre l is really good for brick wall limiting things like a clipper does right i'm like oh shit he's basically using pre, uh, like pro l as a clipper right um, and he's able to push everything to higher, higher volumes that way. And and using this using this um, process, he's able to make songs hit a lot harder because he's brick walling everything. He's making everything as loud as it can be. You know what I mean? And he's using Pro L so that it's a clean clip. Um, and that's what I started doing with my songs. I started putting Pro L on certain things and I started putting a clipper on, on other things. If I wanted something to be more aggressively clipped, I'll use a clipper. I, 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 got, I downloaded a free clipper um, and it's a lot more aggressive than Pro L. And so usually all of my sound design stuff, I put clippers on it now. Um, and then with like vocals or certain um, certain things that I want to be clipped but not as hard, I use Pro L on that instead. So... Um, I'm trying to figure out how to explain this. So it, I have also a brand. I also have a new um, workflow for my mixer as well, which I haven't showed you guys yet either. God, it's so much has changed. Um, and so my, the workflow on my mixer, I have I have a lot of different mixing buses. So I have I mix all my synths into a synth bus, and I mix all my basses into a bass bus, and then I mix all my kicks and snares into a sidechain bus into a kick and bass bus. Um, so that way I can, I can control the sub levels and the kick and the sub of the kick as well using a, a, a multiband compressor. Um, and then I have, so I basically have every, and I have all the, comp I have all the percussion also on a bus as well. And all these, but, and also vocals as well on a bus and all these buses go into a pre-master, which goes into the master. It's a lot of stuff, but because I have everything bust out into different categories, I can put limiters on just all the synths, I could put limiters on just all the bass. I could put limiters on just all the per percussion. I could put limiters on just all the all the uh, vocals. I could limit everything at different levels because everything's organized well. I gotta show you guys this; it's amazing. Um, but because I'm, I'm able to make this workflow, um, I'm able to use clippers very efficiently and also m push the volume extremely loud um, because I'm use I'm 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 clipping everything. I'm clipping everything. <laughs> that's that's the secret to this album i clip everything yeah yeah that's it that's it that's how i make everything sound like skrillex i clip it <laughs> um well yeah i actually did show it cool nice um but yes um okay let me okay i think that answered the question for the most part okay calm down drink some water Yo, Skrill, drop it hard. Man, the good old 2010s dubstep was crazy. No rules, baby. <laughs> dubstep. <clears throat> it's, really, it's really like, there's like it's like the 140 dubstep, and then there's like drum step, it's like 180. <clears throat> and then there's like Complextro, which is a lot of what Skrillex did. It's a whole other thing. Okay, let's play some music. Mm, man. Mm. Okay. <laughs> Next question. God damn it. Um, every question he answers, he's just him headbanging up for it. Uh, I'm glad the skeb exp I'm glad the skeb explanation from earlier answered the majority of my questions. What ideas in particular um, then did you send over for the OC designs originally? If you commissioned Buduska as well on skeb. So. Um, for the OC, uh, Maida, um, I wish I spent a little bit more time on it because to be honest, I just kind of said like, Hey, here's the, here's the general, here are pictures of the general vibe I'm looking for. Um, could you just do something like that? Right. And then they delivered it. I'm like, that's pretty good. And I just went with it because of like, it was good. Um, and then I, I went through a little bit more minor revisions with the, the next artist that I ended up um, commissioning to do the rest of the art with because I wanted to, instead of um, commissioning Buddhiska for everything, uh, I used another artist um, 
uh, because th their schedule aligned better with mine. Um, so and and then the pricing as well. So it was a whole other thing. Um, but um, so I used this other artist and kind of refined the design a little bit more. I took a lot of the. Um, uh, actually, let me let me show you. I took so this is um, this is Maida. You can see the uh, the um, what is that? The, the the musical notations in the in the in the hair, right? Uh, I got rid of most of the musical notation except for like the little hair clip looking ones over to the to the right of her, like the little the the, the double there, as you can see in the final version of the. Uh, let me let me open this up so that it's, it like, explains better. <laughs> Uh, hold on. So let me let me make her small again. Okay. Oops. Um, let's see. So let me open up um, the original. Damn, that switch every time. Okay, so let me open this up here. Put this here and put this here. And then let's open up the final version and put this here. Bring it to the front. Bring it to the front. Bring it to the fire. Me. All right. Okay. okay. <laughs> Scene. All right. Here we go. So the original design is over here. Um, also, but this guy gave me a lot of different variants. One without blush. One with a different eye shape. Um, so that was very nice of them. Um, but you see, there's there's a, quite a bit of difference here. Um, let's see. So as you can see, the the notes are gone here. But there's not too much of a difference, honestly. There's not too much of a difference. It's mainly just the notes and then the position of the hand. Um, and yeah, so we only, we just did some minor changes. Yeah, we did some minor changes. <laughs> um, but yeah, I, I thought um, I thought having just these two notes over here um, was enough for like, you know, just some hair clips. I, I, they look more natural as hair clips instead of like these are more, they would be like more ornate. Hair, cli hair clips in a way, you know what I mean? Um, and um, yeah, we just, just changed like, the facial shape a little bit um, towards in the final version. Um, and then overall, this is what we got. So yeah, this is this is the initial design and then we added a little bit more to the bottom. Obviously we added, we had like, um, uh, you can see Maida over here. We added pants, some shoes. <laughs> um, yeah. That's uh, this is kind of the process, all right? I, I kind of said, I kind of sent Buddhist guy, hey, here's um, here's a general vibe, and they came back with this, I'm like that's it, and then we just kind of went on from there. See, Skeb is amazing like that. Sometimes it just it just hits, you know what I mean? <laughs> um, yeah. Huge shout out by the way to Domo, um, Domo Arga, thanks. Um, they um, they kind of uh, set up the set up the whole theming for the album and kind of like you know i said hey he, he offered his services here i, I, I want to help you out with the album i want to i want to kind of like do a little bit more editing on this character you got going i'm like okay, okay why not cool um and then he sent me back um the you daddy tonight album art which let me bring that up wah, 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 wah. speaking of you daddy tonight wow um he bring out uh, he he sent me back this I'm like, holy crap, that's super professional and awesome. Like, wh why don't we do this with the entire album? And he's like, yeah, I'm down. And yeah, and he just he just helped me out with this album and just did all the background editing. And uh, 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 Yone did, obviously, this the, the character work here. And then Domo came and did all the background work. And he did all like the the font. And he also chose the font for the album as well. Um, and he kind of made everything look professional. So huge, huge shout out to Domo Ariga. Thanks for making everything look amazing, um, theming wise. You know what I mean? So I couldn't have done this without him. Um, let's see. Oh, need some water. Are you going to collab with more V singers in the future? My singing is a bit decent. Ooh, nice, nice, nice. Okay. Um, let's see. Uh, yes, I will do more singers, be singer um, collabs. Uh, I don't want to say what the theme is for the next album I'm doing, um, but it, it does have a distinct theme already. I've I've worked out what I want the next album to sound like, um, and it's gonna be really cool. Um, so yeah, I'm definitely I, I've already messaged. I'm gonna say I said this earlier, but I already messaged four people. Oh, excuse me. 
and I've already secured secured what the single like who I want in the singles um, with uh, the concept of the songs that I'm going to be doing so I, I already have three singers I said yes and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be starting pro- production of the next album next week so it's going to be really cool I'm already looking for uh, singers so so we've kind of already gotten three confirmed singers a fourth one is going to be uh, waiting on the response um, so I'm going to be looking for six more I'm trying to keep it to ten um as much as I want to do more songs than ten, more more than ten songs, I don't want I don't want to push myself, and um, I don't want to be able to, I don't want to work on the album for too long, um, so I can get a good concept going. You know what I mean? Um, so yes, I'll definitely be working with Marvy Singers. I'll check you out as well. We'll see. We'll see what's up. <laughs> see if you match the vibe that I'm looking for. Uh, honestly, I'm glad. I'm glad that we we get given the time to let the current released tracks sink in before the doors break open with the new music yeah no worries no worries uh there's gonna be a bit more time until this next uh next album um but also 10 songs uh, 10 singers 10 songs um on i think it was on on twitter you could only tag 10 people on an image so it'll be super nice because there's 10 people and it would look great on twitter (laughs) anyways um have limiting limiting the amount of singers to ten just because of Twitter is not a good reason. <laughs> but yeah, we'll say we'll think about it. So, anyways, um, especially for this time around, uh, for the next album I'm doing, um, I do not want to rush it. Like, I want to make sure most of the album is like good to go before I start releasing singles. That way, everything will be a lot more cohesive. I already said this, but I want to say it again. Um, <laughs> Well, yes. Anyways, so if you guys have any more questions, let me know. What time is it? Okay, I'll probably do like 30 more minutes-ish of uh, more Q&As. I'm going to try to be a little bit more brief in my answers so I can get through more questions. <laughs> um, but yeah, I'll do 30 more minutes because I am getting hungry. I did not eat anything yet today. It's been a bit busy. I woke up a little bit late. Um, I had to speed run my shower. Um, but anyways, let's see. I'm gonna to get to some of these uh, questions, uh, the, the comments generally, because I haven't been looking at the, the the comments a bit. So let me just go through this while you guys get some questions up. Garage parts were great. Yes, I'm a big fan of UK Garage. Um, drop of one of those interesting stuff of vibe. Yeah. Oh man. Uh, let's see. If uh, I've been listening to music for a lot, uh, a lot of the years now, and I'm just now seeing your face. Hey, what's up? I used to stream a lot more often than I do now. I used to stream a lot more often. I got pretty burnt out of streaming. I'm gonna be honest. Um, I had I had this era where I did some Q and A streams and then had some editing afterwards with my good friend Manu Emmanuel. Also, um, Manu, I, I didn't say hi. Hi, I'm Manu. It's been a while. How you doing? Haven't had the time to listen to the energy energy yet. But hi, gamers, it's been a bit for sure. Hope you get to listen to it. I have a lot of work into it. I'm very proud of it. Um, but there was an era for me where I did um, Q and A streams, and uh, those were pretty cringe because I was I am not. I do not have the, uh, I am not extroverted enough to do Q&A, like, to, like, hold, like, to be, like, oh, like, have those cool interactions, like, cool reactions and follow-up questions. I am not built out. I am not built for that. Thank God to Manu because he made those streams look 100% less awkward than it was. Oh, God, I I don't want to do that again unless I'm super prepared. Whew, that was a rough time. Um, But, yeah, Manu made those, Manu made those uh, stream highlights make it make made made those streams look so good thank you god damn it uh <laughs> but yeah i did like a couple of those streams i released a couple of like stream highlights from those and I, I got extremely burnt out from the last one i did it was really bad um and um yeah i i was i was pushing myself too hard for that for sure <laughs> oh for sure manu um um, I actually might hire you for this video because uh, um, I've been seeing what you've been doing with Naku and stuff, and just your other stuff, and you've been you've been you've been working it, bro. Uh, yeah, I might hire you for this uh, video. See how many. Um, I'll just give you uh, give you the the vod and see how much you could come up with, and then see how many sh- see how many shorts we can make. Because <laughs> I'm sure there's a lot in this stream that we can talk about. <laughs> oh God, we could do the skeb bit where I fucked up. Oh God, that's. That'll be a good short. That'll be a great short. But God damn it, I can't believe I fucked that up. <laughs> God. Um. Yes. <laughs> that's a perfect. That's a perfect short right there. That's perfect.
Yes, I'm finally catching up with um, catching up with chat. Okay, so she did a great job. Yes, the cell is goaded. Songs too loud. Fix that. So the songs you have Miku versions of were written by you, were they? Question mark. <laughs> uh, which of the album's song lyrics were written by others versus by you? Good question. Uh, let me reread that because like, I don't know how to read. Cheers. So, so the songs you have Miku versions of, uh, so the songs you have Miku versions of were written by you, were they? Um, so the songs, uh, so the songs you have Miku versions of were written by you, were they? Were they? Uh, which of the album's song lyrics were written by others versus by you? Um, let's see. So let's go through it. Uh, I I probably wrote eighty percent of this, 80 percent of the album, maybe something like that. But let me let's let's go through it, shall we? Let's bring up the track list. Uh, scene. Okay. Oh, excuse me. Excuse me. So, Feel Alive featuring Aries Shepard. I wrote all that one. I wrote the lyrics for that one. Are you ready tonight? Kitsui Akira. I wrote, th I wrote those lyrics as well. Um, my, my Japanese is not great. It's a very, very basic. So, um, for you daddy tonight, it's a very, very basic Japanese. I did not need help with this one because the amount of Japanese in here is literally very basic stuff. Like, hidari, hidari, which is like to sway, and hidari is to, to, to sway. I, for, I forget what hidari and hidari means. <laughs> one of them means to sway. I think it's hidari. Hidari means to sway. I think. I think so. Um, and then, um, so, so I'm trying to go through the lyrics. Sway with me, hidari, hidari, hidari. I move to the beat, hidari, hidari. Uh, it's taking me adult it's taking it's taking me adult and then it equals uh, those three lines those are three like actually here we, here we go here we go perfect so it's taking me adult it's taking me the moment adult equals that tonight you daddy you daddy see like very basic adult means to dance it means let's go um and um i had a little bit of help with uh choosing the right conjugation for equals that um with uh, my friends in Japan, shout out Haruka and Kairi. Kairi, you gotta you gotta take more breaks. You you work way too much. That's crazy. Your boss makes you stay for like way too many hours after. I know the Japan culture is crazy like that, but goddamn, get some, go 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 take a break. That shit's crazy. But thank you so much Haruka and Kairi for helping me out um, with the lyrics uh, in multiple songs. Actually, just making sure I got the Japanese correct and making sure I'm using the right conjugations and all that kind of stuff. Because for equals it, equals it, which is kind of like, um, it was funny how they explained it. Equals it is kind of like a cool version to say, let's go. And then the version, there's the different version of equal is like, you can say equals or like equal generally without the Z. And there's like other versions of equal that you could do. Um, and depending on which version of equal that you use, iku, um, it would depend on how the, the vibe of of what you say it was is, is you know what i mean so like equal z is like of a cooler version to like i'm a cool guy come on with me you know what i mean um that's that's that um but yeah so um so yeah i wrote all the lyrics to you daddy tonight wrote all the lyrics to uh, feel live wrote all the lyrics to watch me move it i wrote all the lyrics to burn your fears granted uh, there's a lot more japanese in burn your fears and i did use deep l for a lot of it and then i and i cross-referenced the deep l stuff with other existing japanese songs to make it like okay this actually makes sense and then i sent what i wrote to my friends and like okay yes that makes sense i sent it to like um Pareki or like nick and like okay yeah this makes sense um so i did use deep l but i just made sure what deep l spat out was good and made sense within the context and i changed the, the verbs here and there Yada yada yada. Um, Burn your fears. I wrote all that amazingly because it's a lot of Japanese. Blue love. Didicia wrote all of it. Speaking of which, it's playing right now. Um, she wrote all the Japanese, uh, l l all the Japanese lyrics. Just generally, all the lyrics are in Japanese. Um, she wrote all the lyrics in there, and then she wrote all the melodies in there, except for the um, blue love, my blue love. I wrote, I wrote that part. Um, but I didn't want to be like, oh, I wrote, I wrote, I wrote ten percent of the song. I want to be a part of the credits. I don't want to do that. She wrote, she wrote like more than ninety percent of that. She's like, I'm gonna give her the credits. You know what I mean? 
Um, so I'm gonna say blue love, you just have wrote all that. Um, Savior, um, I wrote the first half, and Nana Asteria wrote the second half. Um, yeah, so then for that one, I was like, I wanted it to be more of a collaborative effort because I know Nana has written a lot of original songs, um, especially um, pre, um, pre Prism, oh, Prism. Not, is it a prison? Is it a prison project that, that she used to be a part of? Well, pre okay, pre Corpo, Nana wrote a lot of original music, and I remember discovering her music a long time ago. I'm like, I want to work with her eventually in the future to create original music. Looks like we eventually got together and created original music. Here we are. Um, and yeah, I was like, I wanted to work with her, but I didn't want to just write all the me all. I didn't want to write all the lyrics to this song with this, with this collab with her because I knew that she had a lot of talent in the songwriting area she had a lot of talent in songwriting so i wanted her to also be able to shine as well so I, I i told her hey you want to write the second half i'll write the first half and it just turned out pretty awesome speaking of savior here we are um and yes and she also um last uh, like uh last minute she wrote a little bit more towards that last ending section and, and i was like yo this is amazing let's add it to the song and it made that last ending section with the garage section made it to the song it's great um Yes, so 50-50 for Savior. It's more like 40-60 because she ended up in a little extra section at the end. Savior, um, you are the only one. I wrote all those lyrics as well. Super proud of that one. Probably my favorite my favorite song in terms of lyrics and I'm super proud of how that one turned out. Um, Cursed, I wrote all the lyrics in that one. Break Through the Forever, I wrote all the lyrics in that one. And With You, I wrote all the lyrics in that one as well. So so I did half, half of Savior and none of Blue Love. So that's like, so it's, it's it's a nice ten songs, so we could take easy percentages of that. So so that's like that's so one song would be ninety percent, right? I wrote ninety percent. Half of the other song, eighty five percent. So I wrote eighty five percent of the album. I'm it's crazy how much I wrote, honestly, because like I can't. That's a lot. That's a lot of words. <laughs> um, yeah, that's a. I'm really proud of writing all this stuff man that's crazy I, ne I never would have thought i would have been able to write one song hell of a whole album you know what i mean so yeah I, one day i'll go i'll one day i'll i'll go through like a lyric writing process to you guys because it's pretty it's pretty fun I, uh it's pretty fun so hold, hold on let me let me actually open up one of the lyrics i'm gonna do a lyric breakdown for you guys like how i made it let me see now this is you daddy tonight the first single right so um, you're ready tonight. So sway with me. So so I started like okay. I want to. So when I went, when it when I wanted to conceptualize the song, right? I was like, okay, I want to make a knock two song, right? I want to make a you know this cut and dry knock two ass song. So let's make you ready tonight. I cut a knock two song. So there's not gonna be a lot of, a lot of lyrics here because it's gonna be mainly focused on the drop. So it's like okay for so if, if I'm gonna be if I'm gonna be um, DJ Joe knock two knock three or whatever the hell. Um, I need to br I need to brand it to where I'm not just ripping off Noctu, you know, right? I need to put my own spin on it. So like, okay, I'll be like, I'll be like weeb version of Noctu. I'll be VTuber Noctu, right? So I want at least some Japanese words in my lyrics so that, you know, we have that cool like, have hey, nice Japanese words makes it cool. You know what I mean? Um, you know, the you know Japanese songs like to do the thing where it's like all Japanese and then they, they have that random English word here and there. I wanted to do that, but the opposite. You know what I mean? So, so I wanted to, okay. So I don't know a lot of Japanese, so I want to do simple Japanese words, right? So, um, what's a simple like thing? What's a simple word I can think off the top of my head? Okay, yudari. That means like to sway. Okay, we're dancing, right? We're swaying, we're dancing. Okay, what rhymes with yudari? That's in English. All right, d, me, beat, right? All these things rhyme with d, right? So I'm like, okay, so we can do what? Okay, what 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 sentence rhymes with me? So yudari, right? So the uh, yudari means sway. Okay, sway. So sway with me, yuda di, right? Like, oh shit, we got that. What else rhymes with me? Beat. I look. I look. I look up the rhyming thing. I forget what it's called. It's um it's like a rhyme table thing. Uh, let me bring it up. Hold on. This this was this this site was integral to this album. It was um rhyme zone. Yeah, rhyme zone. So so I was like, okay, what rhymes with li? The Japanese di in, in yudari. Me. What rhymes with me? Well, let's check Rhyme Zone, which is not loading. Come on, come on, come on. 
man. I should have had this up earlier. You know what? I, I wait. It's on. Okay, cool. So, what rhymes with me? Enter. Right. Wow, this is going really slow. <laughs> God damn it. Um, what? Oh. <laughs> Come on. Anyways, the way this works is you put in a word, and it gives you a million things that rhyme with that word. Right. So I'm like, okay. So. <clears throat> what rhymes with me? Beat. Let's make it the next section rhyme. Let's make the next section um, rhyme with you daddy as well. So I'm like, okay, move to the beat. Okay, that's great. That rhymes with so sway with me. So like, okay, but instead of saying you daddy again, that'd be repetitive. What else rhymes with you daddy that's in Japanese that has a similar meaning that would work with the song? He daddy. And the reason why I found he daddy was um, <clears throat> there's a the rhythm game song called da 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 and she says she, she says hidari do hidari yo. she says like hidari in there I'm like okay I know she says that I know that's like a like a like sound effect Japanese word let's see what that means I was like okay that works in the context of hidari as well so we're putting it in there and it rhymes with hidari hidari perfect and then that's how I wrote that it's basically kind of like okay we start with a concept what rhymes with this that's in English go to this okay next next line what rhymes with this beat let's make a sentence out of that and so on and so on and so on. I mean, you keep going on. Um, that's kind of how my process works. It's kind of kind of like, okay, what rhymes with this? What rhymes with this? Um, and of course, obviously, there are songs like <clears throat> like the song I'm listening to right now. Let me find it. I don't want here. So <clears throat> this song, you're the only one. How I wrote this one. So this can't be real. Uh, as we let out emotions like a gunshot no it's not ideal so i was with this one i was playing a lot with rhyming um with rhyming things that aren't at the end you know that, that aren't in places you expect them to be you know what i mean so rhyming things more than usual in a way like i don't know how to explain it so like this can't be real so i want i set up the 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 quotation lines to be they don't necessarily have to rhyme with everything um well, not, not 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 like I wanted like I made so that this first line didn't have to rhyme if it didn't need to but if I could it would be awesome so like so this can't be real it's not ideal so the first line rhymes with the last line um and but I didn't want these two to kind of like these two were fine if these two rhymed you know what I mean upset oh okay yeah, yeah. upset confess time why that doesn't really work by tonight kind of works that works so I can see what I was doing here. Okay, so yeah, this can't be real. As we let uh, our emotions doesn't really rhyme with anything, right? But to make up for that, like a gunshot, no, it's not. I love that. I love like a gunshot, no, it's not ideal. Ideal wraps it back up with real, right? I'm not upset. I can see that you're lying. It's uneasy, so please, uneasy, so please. I love that. So like the whole thing where it's like the double rhyming thing, I tried to keep that up there as much as I can. Bombshell, could you tell? And tell me, tell me why I did it hurt you? But I see you. I, I rhymed you with you because I couldn't think of anything else that would work here. Um, but also, this last one is an exception to the rule because this one stops a line early and goes to the next section. So I'm like, okay. So if 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 this if this is the exception to the rule, it's even more fine to change it up. You know what I mean? So yeah. Um, so the theme here is. The first line will always rhyme. Most will try to line with the last line to keep a theme, and everything in the middle will try to line with it. Well, it doesn't necessarily have to rhyme, right? I need some time. No, it can't be this way. It's a bombshell. Could you tell me why? So, yeah, this line doesn't rhyme with anything. 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 But everything else rhymes with each other. So I was trying to, I was trying to like, I, I had for this one, I see, like I told you, I like to work in concepts. I, that was the first, the first concept here was trying to copy and paste the next concept, next one, next one. So yeah, the concept was made to where the first line had to rhyme with the last line. The second line did not need to rhyme, but this, but the third line had to have a clever rhyme that need to be off the time. So yeah, so like first line, rhyme to last line, boom, boom, boom. Second line doesn't rhyme. The last two lines rhyme. And then the last two lines will rhyme, but also will wrap it up so that it rhymes with the first line as well. And that was the rule I set for myself for this song here. See, I like to work in concepts. Okay. Well, 
What does Hidari mean? I forgot. Boom, 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 boom. Nimbly or lightly. So we're going to move. Okay. So <laughs> um, move to the beat. Nimbly. Nimbly. You know what I mean? We're, new, we're moving to the beat with nimble. <laughs> okay. It technically works. Because <laughs> moving to the beat lightly does not, does not really work that well, right? But nimbly, that works, right? You're moving, moving it. You're moving the good amount. <laughs> okay, you, you, okay, you daddy works a lot better. I was trying to find something that works enough with you daddy, and I, I thought you daddy worked. I think that's what this means, right? Oh, it says softly, man. It's pro. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. <laughs> man. Okay, it's. It's fine. It's already written. It's already released. <laughs> I think it makes sense, right? It's fine. Um, but yeah, so yeah, this. Um, so yeah, when I guess, I guess to sum up the whole lyrics thing, um, I like to work in. I like to set rules for myself. Rule. I like to set like rules for myself. Um, whenever I write, to um to make to make everything kind of sound cohesive in a way and I break those rules only when it makes sense yeah um, and I try to use rhyme zone as many times as I can to where it doesn't sound too corny there we go and you're the only one I need you're the only one so the, the you're the only one repeating over and over again obviously makes it sound you know a, a, makes the song sound like you know, they're exasperated they're desperate and that's kind of the rep the repetitiveness is is what I was going for there, and it worked out. Um, and then this section, it's all too much. It's not even just very simple. You know, all too much. It's not enough. It's all too much. I've had enough. Very simple stuff there. Um, and this section, I had so when I was making this song, um, I had some. I had the main. I had the main melody. I had. I was working with when I first started this song, which was. Um, you're the only one I need. You're the only one I dream of. That was the main melody I came up with first, and I worked from there. And then eventually, as I started working on the song, I came up with this melody, but I didn't know how to use it. I didn't know where to put this melody. The, it's all too much. It's not enough. I did. I, I came up with that melody as I was working with the song, but I kept it in mind because I have, had no idea where I could put it. So eventually, I was like, oh, shit, I could put this melody right after that first drop. I think it would work perfectly there. And then that would be a perfect transition into the boom, into the next verse, which I ended up doing with the, um, don't forget, peace, but don't regret all you've been through. I'm trying to remember the inspiration for this section because, like, it's, like, one of the, the defining features of this song. I'm trying to remember how I came up with this because I wanted to do, like, because I can't, I, when I, if I tell you like I wanted to do this, that's a lie. Because like, I think I came up with this concept of layering it as I was making it. I'm trying to remember. Because I don't forget, please push through, don't regret all you've been through. Because like this next section, I wanted there to be a really big drop in the second half. Like the, I, what, what I did know, what, what I did want to do for this song was to have a big, like big hands up, big chords drop. I wanted that to be there, but I didn't know how to get there. You know what I mean? Um, I wanted it to be calm and eventually build up to get there, but I wasn't sure how. And I think I eventually I just figured out, you know what? This should be a sick idea. And I did it. That's all I could tell you. I think, I don't know. I don't know how I came up with this section. It just ha kind of happened. Um, I think after making this, I was like, okay, maybe we can do something on top of that. I don't know. I, I honestly can't tell you how I came up with this section. <laughs> I don't know. But yeah, this this is great. I love this section so much. And then when I came up with these two, I was like, I got to put this on top of that to finish it up because that would make sense. So yeah. Man, what a great song. Okay. <laughs> Let me let me catch up. Let me catch back up. Let me catch back up with the chat. This is gonna be great. This is gonna be awesome. This stream is gonna be good. Anyways, you gotta save the idea. All right, where was I? Damn. 
Oh, man, I'm so behind this chat. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm so bad at doing this thing. Uh, okay, hold on. Let's go back up. Oh, so the songs you have Miku versions where you written. Okay, we did that one. Yeah, breathing room where it's like this is just okay. I got you, got you there. Yes, um, kind of like a threading based on EQ. Yeah, I see the orange green layers. Still way to improve clarity. Big thanks for the answer. Yeah, insightful. Yes, sir. Let me show you this when your live streams. Oh shit! Oh, why does the drop in your one hundred remix sound like Skrillex's scary monster? <laughs> a nice surprise. I did not do that on purpose. That just kind of happened. That's a complete off topic, but that yeah, I don't, it, it didn't sound like that on purpose. I just, it, I was just trying to make something that sounded cool, and it ended up sounding like Skrillex. Uh, are you playing any new anime opening remixes? Um, good question. I do want to do a Bling Bang Born remix eventually because I have some ideas for that. Um, and I really, really want to remix um, uh, Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood's remix uh, opening, which. Um, I'm trying to remember what it's called. Um, it's um, Ready, Steady, Go. I really want to remix that song. Um, I'll, I'll, I'll probably try to remix that before the end of the year. That one specifically. Let's see. Anyways, uh, why does she have a huge forehead? It just kind of happened. She just got one. She born like that. Gorgeous. I truly really like doing the Q&A action. Domo's a bro. Love Domo. Love that guy. He's my dude. Fellow Filipino. He's not Filipino. Is he? Is he Thai? I forget. There's a whole joke. I think he looks like a, a Kevin. Anyways. Uh, <laughs> uh, let's see. Let's see. Catching up. He's doing it. I'm doing it. Editing was so good. Let's see. Yes, sir. Uh, I'd love to do one now. As much more experience editing. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I'll hit you up later. Uh, pretty sure I agree with that one. Yes, sir. I understand there's stuff learning Japanese. Yes. I should have. I should. I should know a lot more Japanese than I do now. It's just so hard to keep with it, my dude. Sorry, on my phone. I can repeat everything you said in the past five minutes. I don't know what I said. It's been a while. Glad to know you're proud of songwriting. I was excited to hear original lyrics over your music as well, since that's a new thing, really. Yes, it really is. I'm super proud of this, bro. It's, it's crazy. Uh, not today. What does he daddy mean? We got there. Definitely my favorite of the lyrics. That's good. Uh, like the songs we wrote. Hello, hello, Muhammad. How you doing? This has been back up. Lyrics, lyrics. Chef's kiss. Yes, sir. Enjoying the sort of laid back mood of the stream. I'm chilling, bro. Always chilling. Okay. All right, let's get the last few questions in. By the way, I'm going to wrap up this stream. I'm probably if, if I don't stop myself, I'll stream for another hour. <laughs> Fun fact about this song. With you, with you, with you. I do not sing. Um, Fun fact about this song. Heavily inspired by Noctu's. I'm trying to remember what song by Noctu's was heavily inspired by. What song? What damn? It was about it heavily inspired by Noctu's song. I think it was um one of his vocal feature songs of that one girl. Uh, let me look up a list of their songs. As uh, if I look up a list, I will know. Wee wee wee. Noctu's new song is really good. Uh, hold on, let me... I don't want to play this song because, you know, copyright and all that jazz. But let me, like... It's a part of his Room 202 EP. Here we go. See you soon. Okay. This song was heavily influenced by Rock Your World. It's like one of my all-time favorite Knock 2 songs. You gotta listen to it. You gotta listen to it. You'll hear exactly what, you, what I mean when I say it's influenced. This part right here. Dun, dun, dun. One, two, three, let's go! I cannot wait to play this live! Oh my god, I can't I can't get over how good that song is. It's like the perfect credit song, bro. I wish, I wish I could tour. Her touring is expensive. 
expensive. You gotta do it right. I don't know. A lot of money. <laughs> I would love to tour though. Please reach out to your local conventions. They got the money to bring me out, please. Anyways. <laughs> I know, shit is stressful for sure. Um, but yeah. Let's see. So last few, last few questions. Unrelated, when do we get Bleach Month? I don't know, brother, but I love Bleach music. One of my, some of my all-time favorite anime music, for sure. One of the faces is it? This drop, uh, one of my faces, it got the song stuck in my head for quite a while. Haha, <laughs> yes. Lo I love with you. Man, okay. I am hungry. You guys have food suggestions? I'll go out to get some food later. <laughs> After the stream specifically. You guys got some food suggestions? Mm -mm -mm. You guys ever tried the um you guys ever tried the apple black tea from Kung Fu Tea? Not sponsored? It's amazing. It's very good. They got small pieces of apple. That's my favorite thing about boba is where they have small pieces of fruit in it. God, I love that shit. Fuck me up with that stuff. Um, but yeah, you should try this. I think it's seasonal. It's a, it's a uh, apple, apple black tea from Kung Fu Tea. Good stuff, my dude. I always go for um, I'm not a big like chewy boba person. Every now and then I'll get some of that, but I love doing pudding whenever it's something like taro, or like a honey black tea, or. Something like milky. I love doing pudding. I'm a pudding guy. I always do pudding. Um, and when it's something fruity, um, uh, my go-to is the, the clear boba. What's it called? Um, what the hell is that thing called? I, forget. I always forget what this is called. It's like crystal boba. I always do crystal boba because it's like I love crystal boba so much because it's it's not chewy like the black boba, but it's not as the you, you like it's, it has a little bit more chew than like. Um, like aloe vera and like le the lychee jellies and stuff like that. It's like very satisfying to chew on. So like I, my go-to is like crystal, 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 crystal bobas when it's like fruity, or like aloe aloe vera also, or like a lychee jelly. It's my boba order. <laughs> pizza, yes, I could go for some pizza. Got lazy mood around here. I love that shit. Might go for some sushi. I haven't had sushi in a while. It's a good idea. Lychee places will never not go hard. Yes, sir. Uh, something with egg or good protein, bro. Uh, gotta get that nice protein. Okay, okay. I see you. I see you. Crystal gems. <laughs> okay. Um. Okay. Oops. I did not mean to stop the music. So yeah. Let me let, 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 let's wrap up the stream. Um. Thank you guys so much for coming out. If if someone has any, if anyone has any questions, I will take them. But if not, I will be wrapping up the stream. Um. And yeah, thank you guys so much for coming out again. Um, again, for thank you guys so much for coming out. Sorry, I, I, I'm, it's hard for me to do two things at the same time. I'm trying to put on music again. Jeez, um, where the hell is my album? There it is. Double click, double click. Let's end it with you. I love that song. Um, okay. Credit song. End of the end of the stream. Yes, sir. Can't really stay, but I just wanted to let you know that you're so amazing making all these wonderful songs and hope you live very happy. Thank you so much. I really appreciate uh, the words. I'm glad you enjoyed the album and I hope you live happy too. Thank you. Um, just going hard. Just emotes. I know. YouTube doesn't have epic emotes. I know. Uh, can we hear the Metal Artcore original? No. That's a part of another. That's a part of another concept EP. For Zenpaku that should have been done by now, but I got distracted like I usually do. But that song is done-ish. And everything else is not. There's another song for that EP. There's supposed to be five songs of that. It's supposed to be Zenpaku thing. I'm trying to do five Zenpaku metal metal hardcore stuff. Don't know when that's gonna happen. Anyways. <laughs> Go at Zenpaku on Twitter. You can find the my my art uh, rhythm game stuff there. Anyways. Come on and take Bye. Hey, good afternoon uh, and evening, Joe. Thanks for entertaining stream. No worries. I'm glad this is entertaining. Um, 
Uh, yeah, thanks for all the answers behind the scenes of the album. Chill vibes, yes, sir. Are we getting a Warriors remix someday? Yes. Um, and yes, there's going to be, it's literally going to be called Worries, and it's going to be under DJ Jail instead of Zanpaku. Um, I might do parentheses, uh, V perp version. Um, so there might be 11 songs on the next album. I'm thinking of adding that song, uh, uh, I'm thinking of adding a version of that song to the next album because it, it matches them thematically with that album. So we'll see. I might redo it in the new style I got going on. Um, and I might just sing it as well. That might be like a bonus track. Yeah, that sounds good. That sounds, write that down. Write that down. Let me write that down. Worries. VIP for V blank. You guys don't know that name. I do though. Okay. Put them up. Put them up. Put them up. Let's go. One, two, one, two, three, let's go. Let's go, let's go. One, two, everybody fucking jump. Well, welcome to the, 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 DJ, the DJ Joe rave where we, where we, we chew bubble gum. And we eat a lot of ass. Bye. <laughs> okay, no, I'm, I'm not going to end the <laughs> Okay. Thank you guys so much for coming to the stream. It's been a great time. Um, yeah, I, um, there's a lot more I want to say about this album, but we'll save that for another time. I have another thing coming out, hopefully, um, that will... It's kind of more of like a, a, like a, a piece that talks more about the album. Um, but we shall see. Next time I stream, hopefully we'll be making a song with you guys, and that'll be great. I'm not sure when that's going to be coming out, but I'll definitely make an announcement when I do schedule that stream. Um, but yes, we're going to be working on a song called Thrill. Trill. Trill. We're working on a song called Trill, and we're going to be making it with you guys. Um, it's going to be great. Not sure when that's going to happen, because uh, I really want to get this next album started. Um, and yes, it's already being, if you haven't heard, it's, it's being planned already. The artwork is being undecided as well. New artists as well. Um, and new singers. So it's going to be good. So thank you guys again. I uh, hope you enjoy V Energy. Make sure, oop, excuse me. Make sure to stream it on whatever um, streaming platform you got going. Spotify, uh, YouTube Music, Apple Music, Deezer, Tidal, um, Amazon Music. I probably missed something. Um, any of those. It uh, um all the splits are uh, any anytime you listen to the album it'll support the singer and me so keep listening guys keep listening <laughs> thank you guys so much also Bandcap is the best way to support us um it's because obviously you're you're instead of being it, it's like a, it's it's Bandcap is like one of the best ways to support any artist honestly um but if you guys really want to support us please purchase the album on Bandcamp or the your favorite single on Bandcamp um and just keep listening. Thank you guys so much for the sh uh, for all the support on V Energy. It's been amazing. Um, yeah, I want to do this again. <laughs> I, I want to make another one. Um, but before, I, I I really need to try to make. I really need need to release some remixes because it's been a while. <laughs> I, I I do have some kind of almost ready to go. I have one just ready to go. Um, so I'll, I'll eventually release some more remixes this year. Um, but I want to, I want to let this album sit for like a month or so, so that everyone kind of, you know, feels it out. And then, uh, I might release another song next month, start starting back with the remixes again. Um, but yeah, I'm hard at work. I'm making the next album guys. It's coming. It's coming. Um, it's going to be out next year. Um, at, at the minimum, it's going to be on the summer. At the maximum, it's gonna be on the winter. <laughs> that's a that's all I got for estimated amount of time. Um, we'll see, we'll see. And I have a lot more time um, to prepare for this one compared to the last one. And I, I have I can set my expectations a little bit higher now. So it's gonna be great. I'm so excited. I have everything set. Ooh, all right. We'll see you guys another time. Hopefully next time will be a protection stream. See ya. So your streams are always entertaining and in engaging. And can you tell Naku to also release his original stuff uh, before the, the year ends? See, the problem with that is that I'm also producing that album, so I have to make it. Ah! <laughs> I am sorry. I need to. 
that's that's my that's my fault. We might just do singles. We'll see. We'll see. Um, anyways, we'll see you guys. Uh, thank you guys so much again for the support, and I can't wait to make more music. Um, this is this is great. It's been feeling. I've been feeling good. I've been feeling a lot better. Um, in terms of, in terms of like inspiration wise and not being burnt out. So this album really helped. So <laughs> thanks guys. We'll see you guys another time. Um, I've been DJ Joe and thanks for listening to V energy. Thank you again so much to fucking, um, Aries Shepard, Kitsuri Akira. Um, I'm trying to list them in order. <laughs> Aries Shepard, Kitsuri Akira, Kit- Kitsui Akira, Hazumi Eileen, Komaria, Didicia, um, who else? After Didicia is Nana Steria's song, amazing, fucking, um, Shiki, Mio, Miyoshino, the goat, um, Little Knee, amazing, amazing voice she has, crazy stuff. Aduvin, the OG, fucking Aduvin, back with me, like, I, I think I first collabed with him. When the the day my remix of the day um, in my Hero Academy when that first came out I think that was like 2016 or 17 or something like that it's crazy he's been with me since the beginning love that guy um, and then Hime Hajime um, thank you so much for just giving me the chance to make music with you guys and um, yeah we're doing it again it's gonna happen we'll see you guys next time all right goodbye goodbye. Bye bye. I I can't do a Markiplier expression. Get, leave Gerard to do that shit. <laughs> oh, have you guys um have you guys watched uh, Holo Stars again? I'm a big Holo Stars Ian fan. Yeah, uh, one day I I would love to work with Octavio. And Haka. I see you, Haka. Um, we'll see. <laughs> Bye.